Good evening, everyone. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Welcome to the stream. My first stream of 2023. Welcome. How are you all doing today? I apologize for my um, voice kind of sounding like crap today. Um, <laughs> I've been sick and I'm still recovering, so I apologize for that. How you guys doing? How's the uh, how's the audio today? Is it, is it good? Is it fine? Audio fine? That beard is smexy. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. All right. Uh, what is it? What's going on with uh, Discord's being? All right. Well, how are you all doing today? Prediction for 3.18 PU release? Um, not this week. <laughs> I know Saban thinks it'll be March. I don't think it'll be March, but it might be February. Because it's still pr it's still pretty rough. It is still pretty rough, so, and it's still in wave one, and it has been for a while, so. Um, what are my thoughts on the Corsair? Um, I think the Corsair is an interesting looking ship. Um, I like the firepower. I don't like the way that it flies. I find the way that it flies, uh, incredibly unpleasant. Hang on, it's slightly too loud. Let me turn that music down a little bit. Um, it's... It, trying to fly that thing in atmosphere, it is... <laughs> pretty uncontrollable <laughs> so see as you should trademark the words soon yeah 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 that sounds appropriate yeah pretty much um so yeah i pretty much just want to chat about star citizen in 2023 kind of my thoughts on the year going forward maybe take a look at the roadmap and uh, maybe we'll jump in and, and uh, try to play some ptu today as well um thinking of which if i'm gonna do that i should probably actually uh try to download the ptu because i haven't updated it in a few days because i've been sick Oh my gosh. Yeah, I got, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, RSV. So basically like mini COVID. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that pretty much put me out for a few days. Oh, hang on. So, uh, yeah, pretty much Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I basically couldn't even talk at all. I had like no voice and, uh, this is, this is the improved version. <laughs> uh, do you think 4.0 has a chance at coming out at the end of the year? Uh, I hope that 4.0 makes it by the end of the year. I sincerely hope that it does. I would really love for uh, 4.0 to make it this year. We will have to see if it does. Um, I'm. It, it depends how brutal 3.18 is. My 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 kind of thoughts are that um, that basically 3.18 is gonna be most of the year and that we we might get into three point or sorry 4.0 around like fall of this year uh maybe like uh like around citizen con time it seems like a pretty reasonable 
release time for 4.0 for me. I don't think 3.19 is going to happen. That's kind of my opinion because I just can't. With th with 3.18 and 4.0 being such gigantic patches, I just can't see them sneaking another patch in uh, between them. I, I seriously, I can't see that happening. So that's kind of my thoughts on... Uh, on the patches this year. Let's take a look at the, uh, let's take a look at the release view though. Ta -da! Release view, here we go. So uh, 3.18 has some cool stuff in it. One thing that, un one thing that kind of annoys me with CIG is that they put things in patches that they don't actually put on like the the release view or progress tracker or anything um they just like throw it out there and maybe mention it in like a spectrum post when someone like finds out about it like the freaking uh crafting thing that you can do on the um on the salvage terminals on salvage ships yeah that's a thing that exists and uh and but it's not like out on any of the release view or anything like that um so yeah by the way if you guys haven't done so already i'd appreciate it if you could uh just leave a like on the stream it really does help all right let's take a look at this so 3.18 3.17 is old news we can get rid of that it won't go away uh 3.18 Daimler crash site, so that's the uh, MSR and 600i crash sites on Daimler. I haven't been there yet. I think Saban has been there though, right? Um, and supposedly it's pretty cool. I I hear that it is. Uh, I hear it's pretty cool. Um, I haven't been there. I, I should try and get there eventually. Um, you're new to Star Citizen three months in and you're enjoying it, but when this wipe comes, does it delete whatever you collected and money? Yes. Yes, it does. Uh, all ships you've purchased in-game, everything in your in-game wallet will pretty much uh, go away. All your guns, anything. Basically, anything that isn't directly tied to your, uh, your online hangar, like on the RSA website. Uh, 3.19 might be a thing where they focus on bringing ships up to gold and the BMM out to everyone. I hope that we see the BMM this year. Um, I know that they were talking about, like, <laughs> stopping development on it, which I personally think is a really bad move for them. Honestly, um, because, uh, here, here's why I think that, um, I mean... Here's why I think that them stopping development on the Ben and Merchant Man is a really, really bad idea from a business standpoint. Is because there if there is one thing that CIG is has a pretty poor reputation for, and that thing that they have a pretty poor reputation for is not finishing things. The Ben Immersion Man is one of the most anticipated ships in the entire game. Everybody wants the Ben Immersion Man. It is such a cool ship. Everyone is looking forward to it. And they t told us last citizen not not sorry, 2021 Citizen Con is when they told us that they were working on it, right? And if they get like halfway done with it and then just stop working on it, it, it is not going to help them at all. What they need to do is they need to finish things. They need to finish the Banu Merchant Man because this is a ship that they've promised since forever. It, it's one of the, it's one of the like very old backer ship. They need to start finishing these old backer ships so that they can prove to people, hey, look, we can finish stuff and when we do, it is awesome. That is what CIG needs to do in order to shut up the doubters. Because uh, because otherwise, people will kind of justifiably be able to say, look, CIG never finishes anything. And this is why you shouldn't play Star Citizen. 
Uh, what ship do you think is going to be important on this new patch? You're seeing a lot of salvage videos. Um, I don't think that any ship is going to be, like, especially more important than any other ship. Um, that's, that's just my opinion. Uh, guys, is my, is my camera, like, does it keep, like, freezing very briefly for you guys? Or is that just a, is that just a thing in OPS that I'm seeing? It's really bothering me. <laughs> I can see it out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, it is. Okay, hang on. Let me. Uh, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Um, is it? Did that fix it, or is it still doing that? Nope, it's still doing it. Why? Why are you doing that, Mr. Camera? What? What is going on with you? Um. Give me a second, let me try to uh, see if I can fix this camera. I'm still a bit rough then. Yeah, I'm still uh, I'm still a little bit sick. Hang on. I'm going to um, I'm gonna try restarting my camera here um, real quick and we'll see if that um, we'll see if that fixes it. All right. Hopefully that improves it or something. I don't know. Otherwise, we might just have to deal with it because uh, I can't be bothered to mess with that today. Anyways, that's my rant about the Bannon Merchant Man. All right. Let's go back here. Um. New Rivers in Stanton. Uh, they dropped a ton of New Rivers on Microtech, and there's also a bunch of them on Hurston. Um, I, I'm glad that they're, like, adding stuff to Microtech and Hurston. I want them to redo or add more stuff to Art Corp. Art Corp is, like, one of my favorite planets. I love Art Corp. It's such a cool idea conceptually, um, but... I would love them to add more. Um, I, I would love them to add more stuff to our card. Why, why can I not scroll down after I do that? Let me scroll. There we go. Sorry, I'm just trying to make this uh, make this bigger. Apparently, that doesn't work. Oh, whatever. That doesn't work either. Okay. Whatever. Uh, hang on. Let's just... Um, give me a sec, guys. I'm going to grab you, and I'm going to grab me, and we are going to go on a little trip. All right. Let's go over here. There we go. Ta-da! <clears throat> Uh, what's my daily ship when it comes to bunker missions? Bunker missions. Oh, that is a great question. Um, bunker missions. Gosh, what do, what do I usually use for bunker missions? Hang on, let me look at my hand. Uh, hang on, RSI is making me log into my account again. Okay. Um, uh, okay, let's see. Bunker missions. You know. I kind of want to say... Probably just like a... Uh, 
We well, just like a constellation, honestly. Yeah. I just came here to say that it's been so long since you've played. You don't even remember what ships you have. Yeah, I don't know. Listen, I'm sick, okay? I'm tired. Hi, Savan. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. All right. Um, anyways. <coughs> yeah, like I was saying, uh, I would love them to do more stuff uh, with Art Corp. Uh, I think Art Corp is super cool. I like Art Corp a lot, and uh, it could definitely use some work because it's, at this point, it's pretty much the, um, the... It's the only landing zone that doesn't, or it's the only planet that doesn't have volumetric clouds at this point. It could definitely use some volumetric clouds and maybe some like smoke coming up from the, uh, from the city. There's actually an old demo of Star Citizen of like Art Corp that um, I, I can't remember how long ago it that was from. But for some reason, it looks a lot cooler than Art Corp does now. Actually, um, I think um, I think uh, Bajini Point was also like way closer. Hang on, let me see if I can find that video. Yeah, it was really cool. Um, I think it was this. I think it was this, um... Let you actually get this close to the populated areas, right? Yeah, Let look, you, you could actually <laughs> fly your ship down through... Uh, you could fly your ship down through the buildings. Look at, like, the smoke coming out of the smokestacks and stuff. We don't have that in the live version. That's not a thing. And it looks fantastic. Look at that. How cool would it be if we actually had this in, at, like, actually in game? That would be amazing. Um, what's your thoughts on ships that have LTI? Is it necessary? Uh, it's not necessary, but it is convenient. Not necessary, but it is convenient. So, yeah, look at, look at this. Don't you think that this Art Corp looks way better than the art corp that we have in game this is so much cooler why do we not have this give us give us the real art corp not the art corp at home <laughs> right like how cool is that yeah that's from citizen con 2017 uh why do we not have that and then yeah and then he flies then he flies up and he and he lands and the station is like, um, the station's like super close to the planet. So you can look down and see like the city. Obviously this is not something that's like necessary, but like that looks amazing. That looks amazing. They've got all these like lights going down, um, like leading into the, I don't know. Art Corp needs, Art Corp needs work. Our corp is cool, or at least it should be cool. But um, right now, it's kind of the most boring landing zone because uh, because it's it's pretty outdated at this point. The new hospital there is nice though, but um, could definitely like the city itself could definitely use a rework, make it bigger, remove the freaking autopilot so you can actually fly down through the buildings instead of the autopilot grabbing you and then crashing you into the buildings. Which uh, I think they got rid of that at uh, at Lorville, which is nice. Um, I I know you like Lorville. That's because you enjoy trash. And that's what Lorville is. That's what Hurston is. It's a trash planet. Um. Would be nice if uh, LTI came with the fitting. What fitting? Only the poor live in trash there. 
Yeah, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, no players can actually access the uh, VIP Habs at uh, at Art Corp or at uh, Hurston. So, Lorville is the best kind of trash. The Lorville, like the improved Lorville, that should be coming. Is that coming in 4.0? I think that's coming in 4.0. The um, the Lorville rework that looks awesome. Lorville's crap feel like the city is bare. It kind of is right now. It's like doubling in size with the Lorville rework. So that'll be cool. How many ships do I have in my hangar? Uh, a lot. Um, I, I don't know exactly how many. Uh, insurance for fittings, all the speculation I've heard was that LTI would be ship only. Um, how long do you, I think tell star citizen moves into beta years um so Uh, so Star Citizen is set in what year? It's like 2951, something like that. I think by then it, it might have gotten into beta. 2952. Yeah, by 2952, it'll probably be in beta. You know. Def definitely not released, but um, at least beta by then, most likely. Like, 80% chance, I'd say. Seems optimistic? Maybe. Uh, I'd like to err on the side of optimism, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um... But yeah, river uh, rivers on the planets that that'll go a long way to making the planets feel a lot more realistic and uh, lifelike. So that'll be cool. Reclaimer elevator might be fixed by then. Maybe I doubt it. They'll never fix the reclaimer elevator. They know how much it pisses you off, Saban, and that's exactly why they won't fix it. <laughs> You'll settle on the hull C coming out of polishing. Oh gosh, yeah, that thing's never gonna be done. This would be a great patch to actually release the hull C if they decided to, you know, just just put it as a straight to flyable, but um, probably won't because it would break the economy, most likely. Um, yeah, sand caves, more caves. That's cool. What I'm really looking forward to was um, what I'm really looking forward to is the underground facilities that they showed off at... Was that at CitizenCon that they showed those off? I think it was at CitizenCon. Underground facilities look super cool. I think that's also supposed to be coming in uh, in 4.0. Everything's coming in 4.0. <laughs> um, yeah. The PTV racetrack... Uh, honestly, here, here's, here's the thing about the PTV racetrack. Okay, come here. Come here, guys. Come here. Come here. The PTV racetrack itself is cool. PTVs suck to drive. In fact, every land vehicle sucks to drive in Star Citizen, except except for maybe the uh, hover bikes. The, the hover bikes are pretty fun. But, um, yeah, the the problem with uh, the problem with like ground vehicles in Star Citizen is they don't they don't turn unless you're accelerating which is uh which is kind of a design flaw because that's not how actual vehicles work um usually when you're turning you want to slow down not speed up so um what's my money maker in the game bounty mining or cargo um I usually tend to do bounty hunting in the game to make money just because it's extremely easy and kind of like brain dead to do. You just accept missions, 
blow blow ships up and then accept more missions and blow more ships up um yeah bounty hunting is is really easy um mining is kind of less risk but also more involved because you actually have to like do stuff I think salvage I think salvaging is easier than mining actually for very similar profits cuz um salvage material sells for about the same as refined quantanium which is pretty crazy but um the the thing about the the thing with it is um it's a, it's a little more of a hassle cuz with the uh with the vulture it only stacks two boxes, and then you need to go and move them. So you have to have a tractor beam. Thankfully, you can actually craft a tractor beam in the Vulture now off of the, um, like, uh, what was it, the salvage station? You can craft a tractor beam off of that. But, um, yeah. Yeah, I think salvaging uh, looks like a actually a pretty great um, way to make money now. By the way, guys, we are actually only five subscribers away from hitting 5,000 subscribers, so... <laughs> You're late and nobody even sent out a search party for you. Disappointed. Welcome, Mark. I hope you're having a good day. All right, let's go back to... Uh, let's go back to <laughs> looking at this stuff. Um, gameplay cargo refactor. That's a thing that exists. It, it's kind of neat to be able to, like, push around uh, SCU boxes. You kind of need a tractor beam to do it because um, you can't pick them up. They're too heavy to um, manually pick up. Just subscribe. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, my guy. Um, sandbox prison activities. New suite of missions and sandbox activities to give inmates more opportunities to earn merits. I haven't been to prison yet in 3.18. Surprising, I know. Uh, so I... I have no input on how those are. Uh, no input so far. I haven't been to prison yet. Which is which is crazy cuz like we used to go to prison like every single stream. Um security post Korea reactivation. Yeah, this. So now SPK is literally the only way to um <laughs> SPK is the only way to actually clear your crime stat now. So you have to go to SPK. Oh, there's the notification. <laughs> have I done a team up on Jump Down? Uh, not in 3.18. Um, I haven't actually seen the updated Jump Down either. I know that they updated it. But um, yeah, I know they're trying to drive. I know they're trying to drive more like pvp activity into spk by like updating it and making it the only place to um recover your crime stat but i the the one issue that i have with that is is my opinion is that like as far as games are concerned more options is always better than less options right so more places to go to clear your crime stat is always better than less options because um because like with only one place to go you kind of feel like you're just kind of being um like railroaded to to a single place if you get a crime stat and it's very easy to get a crime stat if you just like accidentally bump into something <laughs> right so like I, like, I, I don't mind the mentality of them having, like, specific, uh, a specific station that, that you have to go to, but I think it would be beneficial to have maybe, like, one in each system rather than just one in the entire game, if that makes sense. Uh, that, that's kind of my mentality on, um, on the whole SPK thing. Hey, Recon, how are you today? Hope you're having a great day. Uh, new missions at Orison. Yeah, I like the I like the extra platforms at Orison. I think it's cool that you can actually get over there without it being um, 
like Siege of Orison now. That's pretty neat. I think those platforms are really cool. I haven't done any of these new missions yet um, on, on those platforms either, but I really like Orison. So I think having more stuff to do on Orison itself is, is really cool. One thing that I'd love to see happen uh, for Crusader at some point is have more cities on Crusader rather than just uh, rather than just Orison. So you have uh, more points of interest to go on the planet. I think that would be cool. Do I own the Stealth Eclipse Bomber? That's your goal to purchase on the new update. Um, I do not own one, no. It is a cool ship, though. It's very pretty. It's, um... I... I situationally useful, I would say. Um, because the guns on it are kind of uh, crappy, um, and missiles are a little bit wonky a lot of the time, and it only gets three of them, but if those missiles hit, they do a lot of damage, so, uh, time trial race missions, um, anyone in chat interested in racing at all, or do any type of racing, because I don't, um, <laughs> And, um, the only guy that I know who actually does, uh, racing, um, spends most of his time crashing rather than racing. Hey, Dolphin Dude. Okay, we have one person. One person in all of Star Citizen who likes racing. Have you tried these time trial missions, Dolphin? Are they any good? You would like to race on the new patch, especially land racing. Now, when you say land racing, do you mean like racing planet side in a ship or like racing on like a ground car? Because, um, again, would not recommend a <laughs> ground vehicle because um, the way that they drive currently is uh, not that great. Um, you don't have 3.18 yet? Okay. Obviously, salvage is cool. <laughs> the thing that was rumored to actually uh, never be coming out is salvage. And um, lo and behold, it actually came out. Magic. Imagine that. Um, and it's cool. Salvage is neat. Um, I've, I've been doing some, some research into the, uh, into the salvage mechanics. Um, I kind of want to do a video about salvage because there there is some stuff to it that that gives it some depth, which is kind of neat. Um, because the different the different lasers that you can equip on the salvage arm do different things, basically. Um, like um, what are the three? What are the three different? There, I think there's three different uh, salvage nozzles. Um, there is the, let's see, I know that the, um, Reclaimer comes standard with two, and then the Vulture comes standard with two different ones as well, so, yeah, so the, uh, so the Reclaimer comes with the Abrade and the Trawler. Um, and then the vulture comes with the cinch and the abrade. So the cinch is like a very fine beam and it extracts really slowly, but doesn't have very much material loss. The abrade is kind of like middle. It extracts faster than the cinch, but has a little bit more material loss. And then the trawler is like the big one. It, it does like a big area and extracts really fast, but it has more material loss. So... Um, have you gotten the free ship on the referral pro program, the little orange cargo ship? I have. Yes, I did get it. Um, for those of you who aren't aware, uh, if you used my referral code when, um, when making your account during the month of December, uh, you got a free Argo cargo. So, and I also got one when people use my code, so... Unfortunately, I only get I only get one ship. I don't get one for every single person that uh, uses the code. 
because that would be a little bit silly. But I did get the I did get the free ship. It was very nice. Uh, hole scraping only is only hole scraping. Salvage has much more to come, and it's what is still to come that interests me. Yes, that's true. But it but it still is salvage, and salvage is cool. I like the whole stripping. Um, and of course, we all know that the best part of salvage is uh, seeing people um, drawing penises on other people's ships using the uh, salvage lasers. That's the main use of salvage at the moment is, is drawing penises on other people's ships. Um, yeah, the vulture is cool. I like the vulture a lot. Um, I, I think the vulture might actually be my favorite Drake ship. Um, I, I love the, I love the yellow of it. It's very industrial looking and I, I like industrial looking ships. Um, it's just, it's just like, it's got a neat interior, um, uh, just functionally. It's really neat. I like the, that you can like get out of the cockpit on the front as well that's pretty cool it's just overall uh it's just overall a cool ship i like the vulture a lot um yeah it's really cool and um multi-tool salvage attachment i haven't actually used the salvage multi-tool much but um yeah the salvage is salvage you'd like to see a salvage ship from argo uh yeah a salvage ship from argo would be cool um, I, I think that, so the one ship that w kind of leaked a while back, I, I forget what it was called, but it, it's supposed to be like a manufacturing ship from Argo. And that could be very interesting to see. Um, and, and possibly, okay. Okay. Come here. Come here. So possibly manufacturing might be coming sooner than we expect because we already have kind of a, a primitive form of manufacturing with that crafting terminal that we see on the vulture and the uh, reclaimer, like the salvage um, depots, right? I think that um, ships with manufacturing wouldn't be that difficult to implement because you because we already have a functioning system where it takes material like salvage material and turns it into stuff. So I think that uh, I think a manufacturing ship could re be really cool. You just take um, instead of instead of having a thing that you take boxes of salvage material out, you have a thing that you put you like insert a box of salvage material and then it like registers that in the inventory and then you can craft stuff out of it. Like imagine if you could just craft pieces of armor or guns and stuff like that and sell them to either back to shops or to other players like if you were able to manufacture rail guns or railgun ammo those are pretty rare now in the verse because they're not sold in any shops anymore so um so the only place you can get them is in like bunkers in loot boxes We already have that with the Pioneer. Yeah, but like the Pioneer isn't actually like out or anything. But I think that like a small Argo manufacturing ship could be really cool. Uh, I think that would be great. Yeah, the Pioneer looks uh, the Pioneer looks great. Um, I'm super excited to see them do more stuff with Rastar. We'll see a lot more of that happen with um once pyro comes out and we have all the like pyro outposts and stuff like that i'm i'm loving the little outposts that they've started putting on like planets and moons and stuff all around as well those are really super neat i like them a lot um and and the derelicts are super cool so obviously they're trying to do more stuff planet side which i really like um i, I think that's i think that's great i think that's fantastic Hey, Fried Bacon, how are you doing? Glad to see ya. Guys, if you haven't liked the stream yet, go like the stream. Make sure that you uh, like that. It really helps. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. We are so close to 5,000 subscribers. And I do plan to do a giveaway at 5,000 subscribers. So... Um... 
Yeah. Okay. Let's go back into uh, looking at this and looking at this stuff. Persistent entity streaming. Okay. So this is the big one. This is where stuff. Uh, you drop stuff on the floor or your ship blows up and you basically, um, it just stays there, right? Inevitably, this is going to end up with all of the landing zones getting completely filled up with trash and all of space getting completely filled up with derelict blown up ships. Um, this is where salvage comes in handy. Um, they, they should start, you know what they should do? They should start adding missions in like landing zones for people to just go and pick up trash. Just like, <laughs> just like pick up 50 pieces of trash in the landing zone and get like, get like 10,000 credits or something like that. Just like go clean up the landing zones for us or salvage missions saying like, saying like there are too many, uh, there are too many wrecked ships around grim hex go and clean them up using a salvage ship or something like that because i wonder if the server load is going to be horrible and that's kind of that's kind of the concern is like right is like how much stuff can reasonably stay spawned in like that until it starts to really wear down on the server um because like it's not we we don't have infinite bandwidth and um even with the even with like the new like shard system that they're implementing it still is going to tax the server to have all of that stuff so i wonder if they have some kind of system that kind of goes and cleans stuff up i know that when when we were messing around at the um the ptv track in um in on the ptu 3.18 the crashed PTVs would um, kind of miraculously vanish after a while and like the tires would go back into their correct position when nobody was looking. So uh, that's 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 kind of something to consider. That, uh, obviously, they do have some kind of cleanup system, but. Over the last few months, you've been playing with a lot of new players. 90% gave up after their first session or have stopped playing due to the bugs and lack of instructions. Supposedly, they're working on a tutorial. Supposedly. It's not in the game yet, I don't think. But supposedly, it's coming. Um, the bugs are another thing entirely. So in this new update, if, uh, if you have a, cre a crate and hide it somewhere two months later, it will still be there. Supposedly, it will... Um, I, I'm not sure what the limits are of the, of the server persistence, but that might be something to test. Oh, excuse me. All right. And then, uh, and then the gen 12 renderer, the new rendering architecture to improve performance. This milestone renders every scene object through the new renderer with optimizations and additional features such as Vulcan coming in the future. Yeah, so this is kind of a start at also helping to optimize the game to run more efficiently, basically, is um, is, is the idea. Um, we're, we've already seen small optimizations being slowly added to the game. Like, like... When I started playing, this game would be, it was impossible to run on like a laptop. But now it, it kind of runs okay on laptops. This is not like amazing. You're not gonna get like, like 120 FPS, but you can get like 30 FPS on a laptop now. And that's pretty good for a game like this. So, um, uh, you tried to get a couple friends in during the free fly and it was so bad that they tried one time and were like, how do you play this? Okay, see that's the problem. Free flies are usually really bad. Uh, free, yeah, performance during free flies is usually really rough. Um, yeah, yeah, it's it unfor very unfortunately, uh, kind of like maybe the worst time to actually like try to introduce people into the game. Um, very unfortunately, because yeah, free flies are usually extremely buggy and extremely laggy. So. 
Um, yeah, so when we, what giveaway are we doing? If we can hit 5,000 subscribers today, we're gonna be giving away, what was it, a C8R, I believe? Courtesy of Saban? Yeah. The idea of a free fly voucher was a good one. Yeah, I mean, conceptually, the idea of a free fly is good. Um, they just need to beef up their servers so that they can actually handle the load. You introduced someone during the free fly and he loved it. I, I mean, yeah, it, it kind of, it kind of depends. Um, yeah, LTI, CAR, and the concierge blue paint. So that'll be fun. We are currently sitting at. 4,998 subscribers. By the way, I, if you guys, I don't know uh, how many of you watched my best of 2022 video. I had a lot of fun editing that video. So go, go and uh, make sure you watch that after this stream. Um, make sure you watch that after this stream. But um, yeah, I, I had a lot of fun. But Anyways, my goal for this year is um, I, I would like to try to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. I think it's possible to do. Um, it, it's, it seems like a pr fairly realistic goal. But I need all of your help. I can't do it alone. I'm giving away a car. No. Uh, a C8R Pisces rescue little mini ambulance. That's actually a fantastic little ship. I, I love the, the C8R. I think it's, um, I think it's amazing. Okay. Um, do I know the exact number I'm at? Yes, I do. I do know the exact number that I'm at. Yeah. 4,998 subscribers. All right, guys. Um, I, I will be right back. I, I will be right back. I need to go refill my water bottle. I need this thing to survive because <laughs> my throat hurts. <coughs> be right back. Don't go anywhere. Thank you for holding. I have returned. Welcome everybody. And would you look at that? 5,000 subscribers. Thank you guys very much. I'm sorry. I'm I I can't like pop off today. <laughs> 
I would actually die. Uh, thank you guys so much for 5,000 subscribers. I really appreciate it. Alright. Um, none of my mods are here today, are they? Alright. Uh, let's do this. How do I, how do I work this giveaway bot? Alright. Shockingly, what do you mean? It's past 5k now, is it? Looks like it's just 5k for me at least. All right, uh, yeah, let's do a giveaway. Um, how long? How long do we want to run this one for? <coughs> we want to do. Um, let's go like. Uh, 15 minutes. Yeah. Right. How do I work this bot again? Uh, uh, oh, right. Slash G create. Okay. okay. Uh, let's go. 15 minutes. One winner. Eight R Pisces Concierge Paint and LTI. Celebrate five thousand subscribers. All right. So, uh, I am going to start this giveaway in my Discord. So all you've got to do is join my Discord. You can find that link uh, in the pinned comment or down in the description of the stream as well. And um, all you've got to do is react to the giveaway bot for to enter for a chance to win that. Uh, are weapons and armor being removed a normal bug when logging off? Maybe? Have you checked the patch notes? Let's check the most recent patch notes. Let me get that pulled up. Give me a sec. Um, patch. Let's pull this up. Known issues. Uh, character creation doesn't occur automatically on first PU login. Selling single item out of a stack with uh, a will zero remaining stack weight in personal inventory. Um, Floating kiosk screen. Oh, hang on. Um, when I'm going, um, hang on. I need to screenshot this. Give me a second. Copy. Okay. And, uh, made it. Two five K. There we go. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, I haven't had that issue personally. Uh, let's see. Uh, players who recopy their accounts can get stuck. Personal transport decommissions markers to a player ship will display the wrong location. Uh, property recognition, uh, server crash, ship recovery, ships left on landing pads have been in an unknown state. Uh, Constellation, the snub fighter lacks interaction prompts to enter it, making it unusable. Uh, stolen cargo does always not always behave as such and can be, sometimes be sold as legal cargo. Uh, any full salvage arm sea canister attachment will not reattach to a multi-tool in salvage mode. Um, medical screens, actor feature, auto medicate... A 99.99% blood drug level. Okay, that's an easy way to get super high. Super duper high. Uh, impounded ships do not finish transferring to storage and are no longer retrievable. Explosive ordnance kills pilot through shields and hull. That's a good one. 
Uh, items appear to not be removed from players' inventory when they sell them or hand them into a contraband kiosk. Uh, walking on hills near Whistler Crisp can potentially kill or wound the player. Uh, equipped gear can be lost when a player dies in Armistice Zone. Um, multiple ships either partially or entirely fail to physicalize cargo purchased on their cargo grids. Um, is that something that's happening to you on the PTU, or is that something that's uh, happening on on live? You can also check the issue council, Joden. That's a great place to look for currently active bugs. This issue council. Oh, okay, so it's on live. Yeah, I would check issue council. That's a good place to look. If I make any call. Spartan, okay. Yeah, I'll check it out. Uh. Oh, I should probably ping people in it. Hey, everyone. Things you give me. I know how to spell. Oh gosh. Yep. Uh, yeah, so once you're in the Discord, all you gotta do is go to the giveaways channel and click on the little um, party popper emote thing for the bot. And it will uh, automatically enter you to win. Uh, free flights are a nightmare for you. It's basically the only time you have serious bugs like engines not spawning on retrieved ships. Yeah, free flies are usually a bit rough. Um, yeah, they're usually pretty laggy, pretty buggy, which is unfortunate because it's kind of like the best time to introduce people to the game without them actually having to, like, pay to buy a game package. So, mm, yeah, it's it's kind of rough. Hopefully with, um, hopefully with the new, you know, improvements that they're making this year. Um, the server performance will get better. Hopefully with, uh, ho hopefully kind of the start of that will be shards. Because I think we already have, um, like a tier zero implementation of, sh of shards in the game. Uh, you're getting a bit sick of falling through the hospital elevator floor. Yeah, elevators are... <laughs> A constant menace to everyone <coughs> I swear yeah elevators are the most dangerous thing in Star Citizen seriously I'm pretty sure I've died more to elevators than I have to like anything else in the entire game uh, let's take a look at the progress tracker what do we want to what do we want to look at in in the progress tracker guys Tell me some things that you guys are looking forward to. What, what do you guys what, what do you guys want to see in the game? What are you guys looking forward to? We'll take a look at it on the progress tracker and, and see where it's at. Or if it's at. Or when it's at. Or who it's at. Do I have a favorite gun? Um, I like the FS9 light machine gun for ballistics and the custodian um, uh, laser repeater. They're both great. Mainly because they have very high ammo counts and also high damage, so you don't have to re, uh, reload that often, or um, and, and you don't need to worry about running out of ammo that quickly. Um, I hardly ever use pistols because pistols just kind of generally suck. No, PVE equals player versus elevator. <laughs> Funnily enough, you never died in the Grim Hex elevators. No, you just, um, no, the panels just don't work in the Grim Hex elevator, so you have no idea where you're going. You just have to kind of guess. That was seriously so funny. I have no idea how I managed to actually make it back to the hangar on that stream. Yeah, that was, that was lucky. That was very lucky. Yeah. 
You found you've had better chances of surviving if you call it and stand way back. Um, yeah, it, uh, I, I feel like I haven't been just like, okay, you know, you know what's a really funny bug is when, when you're just standing in a station and an elevator comes by, grabs you out of the station and just deposits you in space. That's always really funny. <laughs> it's just like kidnaps you and just like drops you off in the middle of space. <laughs> it's like, it's like. Uh, not necessarily like the middle of space. It's usually pretty close to the space station, but um, Pyro next Christmas with 4.0. Um, yeah, I'm thinking my thought is that Pyro will probably um, Pyro will probably come likely in um, around around the uh, or at least my expectation is it'll go into like PTU or at least Evocati around Citizen Con next year that that's my guess or not not next year this year Citizen Con this year yeah that's my guess for uh for for Pano slash pyro yeah that's um that's kind of what I'm expecting what do you guys want to see from Star Citizen this year? What are you guys excited to have come out? We've got this whole, whole roadmap of deliverables to look at. So the best feature you want to see is the commonly known bugs gone. They will never be gone. Never, ever, 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 ever. They're too busy. Uh, they're too busy nerfing the Ares Ion to um, fix bugs. Um, Interspace jumping to Pyro will come when it comes. The longer it takes, the shorter the wait between Pyro deployment and Nix deployment. Um, yeah, maybe. Uh, we haven't heard a we haven't heard much about Nyx. Bounty hunting complete gameplay. I'm pretty sure that bounty hunting is pretty much complete. Unless you're talking about like the ability to actually like put people in like body bags or like the like kidnap capsules and have to like take them directly to prison. That sound that kind of sounds like a just like a pain in the butt to me, but yeah, it could be interesting. <laughs> uh, like, um, yeah, I, I actually, <laughs> I melted both my Aries. I, they, they suck. They're so bad. <laughs> They're so awful. <laughs> Bounty hunting is, is nowhere near complete. I mean, I mean, in a sense it is, and in a sense it isn't. Being able to call a ship with a ground vehicle and maybe FPS gear in it as a loadout, that would be nice to be able to do. But um, yeah, I yeah I don't see that happening anytime soon. You'll settle for a persistent wallet and hangar that never gets wiped. That would be very nice. You know what? Uh, you know what I would love to have. I just want them to bring the hangar module back because sometimes. Sometimes you just want to like go and walk around your ships and not have the frickin' ATC guy shout at you. I also want my Idris. Give me my Idris, CIG. And my Kraken. Give us more capital ships. Capital ships are so cool. Give us more. I understand that they're like Oh, we don't think there's the gameplay in uh, we don't think there's a gameplay in that, but um you know, whatever, shut up. I did put an extra zero in there. Whatever. Uh, I need to, I can't fix it now. Whatever. <laughs> Uh, you also would like for them to nerf the Odyssey price. That thing is ridiculous. Yeah, that's the one thing they won't do is uh, make things cheaper. Um, 
Yeah. Odyssey will probably get more expensive, actually, when it gets closer to release. Every ship gets more expensive closer to release. <laughs> it seems you like things they won't do. Probably. Probably a lot of things that they won't do, honestly. Um... Yeah. Okay. You know what? You know what looks fantastic though? The Polaris. Did you guys see that ISC? That thing is gorgeous. I love the layout of it. Let's see here. Um uh, EU vehicle content. Uh, art, audio, and tech required for the implementation of Polaris Corvette into the PU. Oh, look at that. Polaris is going to be done in June of this year, guys. Woo! No. But at least there's something on the roadmap for it. That's nice. Yeah, Polaris looks super cool. I, I love the look of the Polaris. And it's getting bigger. And it's getting capital, uh, more capital components. Um... Uh, you have the Triad, Polaris, Perseus, and Galaxy on a chain, even though you still hate the Galaxy. Why do you hate the Galaxy? It is, um... Are there going to be ships in the game that can never be bought? Yes. Wait, do you mean... So do you mean ships that can be bought on the online store that can not be bought in-game, or ships that can be bought in-game but cannot be bought on the online store? Or ships that exist in-game but can't be bought anywhere because um, because if you if you're just talking about like a ship that exists ships that no player can own but are in the verse that is a thing that exists it's called the bangle It's called the Bangle. You can't buy a Bangle. But they will be in-game, and you can capture them. Supposedly. So that would make some interesting gameplay. Because, um... Uh, he'll buy the Bangle. <laughs> Saban will find a way! <laughs> He'll, uh, he'll go, he'll go find Chris Roberts in, per in person and, uh, and go up to him and say, Hey, Chris, I'm, uh, I'm somewhat of a JoJo fan myself. And then, uh, somehow he will mysteriously be able to buy a bangle after that. You hope there are more. It would be cool to see unknown or unobtainable ships out there. Yeah, probably, um, probably like, uh, probably like Vanduul stuff, like Vanduul King ships and drillers and stuff like that. Um, I could see those being not purchasable by players, but, um, you know, let me, you know, not, um, not purchasable by players, but, um, but still being in the game. Yeah, I could see Vanduul ships being like that. Uh, can you fly the F8? No, you can't. You can own it. You just can't fly it. You can have it, but you can't fly it. Same with the, um, same with the F7A, which is more annoying because the F7A actually exists in game like it, it it's actually there um and people have them but you can't actually spawn it or fly it for some reason yeah kind of kind of annoying but you know whatever All right. Okay. 
it looks like we have a winner for our giveaway. Congratulations, greatest, whoever you are, if you're still in chat. Congratulations on winning the C8 R Pisces with Concierge Paint and LTI. What? Isn't my phone buzzing? Oh, um, was F7A at IAE? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. It's that's the green one. Huh. Vandal are so much bigger than us, we'd have trouble reaching the controls. Yeah, that's probably why all the Vandal ships are so huge. Like, the Blade and the Glaive are both, like, massive. Yeah. The F8 is also at IAE. And, um, it is gorgeous. That thing is ridiculous, too. It has so many guns on it. The, <laughs> the F8 Lightning is completely ridiculous, which is probably why it, we can't actually have it. Um, yeah, Glaive is, like, the size of a Harbinger. It's crazy. It's so big. This is the F8. Yeah, the F8 is beautiful. It is a beautiful ship. It has so many guns. Yeah, whenever that thing... Because um, they have them during, like, Invictus, when they have, like, the Bengal flybys. They have, like, AI uh, F8s. And people have actually been able to, like, steal them and take them for a joyride. And, uh, yeah, having seen what those ships are capable of probably a good idea for them not to be flyable right now because they're a little bit ridiculous yeah greatest congratulations on winning the giveaway Uh, they'd probably dominate the field too much. I, well, yeah, they have, um, hang on, let me see. Anvil, Andrew, Lightning. Okay, let me pull this, uh, let me pull the specs of this thing up. So, um... So, just just for example right the uh, the saber has four size three guns um the uh the f8 lightning has two size four guns four size three guns and then another size five hard point that can hold either one size five or two more size threes. So, yeah. Yeah. Two size three missile racks. Um, pretty sure it has th uh, four size one shield generators. Sorry, four size one shield generators. Um,. It's also absurd. It's also absurdly fast. So, yeah, just just that. That's why we don't have it. Um, supposedly, uh, supposedly everyone who like plays and completes Squadron will get some kind of like. Uh, civilian version of the F8 or something. At, at least that's what I've heard. I'm not sure if that... I'm not sure how true that is, um, but that's what I've heard. So... Kind of makes playing Squadron worth it, actually. <laughs> if you think about it. Because Squadron's what? Like, the same price as, like, a starter pack of, like, 45 bucks? Something like that? How much is, how much is Squadron? I forget. But if you get a, 
if you get a free F8 in game, even if it's a civilian version, that's a pretty good deal to me. You can steal an F8 anytime if you go for Vaughn missions. Uh, the Hammerheads there have them as escorts. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a beautiful ship. If you buy with a star pack, it's 20-ish. Yeah, that's a great deal. It's a good deal for... That's a lot of ship for 20 bucks. <laughs> even if it even if it comes with like half that loadout, it's still worth it. Honestly. Um, buy Squadron 42 in combo with Star Citizen. Much more cost effective. Or... <laughs> Never mind. Or just be concierge and get a free copy of Squadron. Yeah. That's the real economical option there. Don't listen to me. I'm stupid. <laughs> yeah, free. Tips claimed. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you guys again for 5,000 subscribers. That's crazy. That's crazy. We got... Um, the channel got almost 3,000 total subscribers last year. So I think... I think getting, getting to 10,000 this year is pretty feasible. Uh, concierge doesn't come with Squadron anymore. It was a limited time D-Lo. Um, I... No, I think it does, doesn't it? Or does it not? I don't know. Concierge economic. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. For sure. <laughs> was it was it just limited to the um to the initial wave? Uh Sag. Uh, reaction videos seem to be YouTube algorithm. Wow, wow! I YouTube algorithm's favorite right now. Maybe I need to just turn into a reaction channel, guys. Give me some videos to react to. <laughs> great for boosting those numbers. Hey, you know, no, I've got a great, I've got a great idea. I've got a great idea. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Come here. Let's uh let's react to this video, okay? <laughs> okay. Let's do let's do this. Can't get copyright claimed if I react to my own video. Ha. Let's watch this together. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Okay. So people might be slightly confused why I decided to include this specific clip at the beginning. So this was um, pretty much my, f uh, I think my first stream in, um, in like January of, of 2022, which, um, <laughs> which is also the first time that I had a face scan on during a stream. So that's why I included, I included this clip. My beard game has come on strong, especially after you see what I did to the beard. Um, you'll, you'll see that in a, in a how, sec in this video. Excuse me, how did, you, how did you get up there though? Okay, so this, <laughs> This is in the the turret of a constellation Andromeda. Um, basically, there's a thing. If you jump on the little railing around it in just the right way, um, it just like teleports you up there. Uh, once you're up there, you're kind of stuck until someone gets in the turret and then it ejects you out of the ship. It's really funny. Um, it's really funny. I'm pretty sure you can still get up there, too. I don't as far as I'm aware, they haven't patched this out. Um, I haven't tried it in a little while, but as far as I'm aware, you can still do this. It's really funny because is you can just like hide on people's ships and they will have no idea that you're up there. I love the I love the constellation. Constellation is so 
Uh, it's such a fun ship. Anyways. This is maybe not a great idea. Oh, just got that's a rock. Steer. I think this is the first time that I wore a Hawaiian shirt on a stream, and I also had no idea how to uh, sync. Uh, well, you watch this. The, the camera is not synchronized to the microphone at all in Here this clip. Air. Whoa, okay. It's um, very decent. in a tree. That was also the first time that, or that was when the hover quad came out. Hover quad is so much fun. I, I love it. It's, it's so much fun. And then this, this clip here is very fun. Whee! <laughs> Oh wow! Wait, what? <laughs> that just completely blew the ship up. Wait, seriously? So that is, I I think actually a clip that I I'm not sure if it ever actually made it into a video or or not. Um, we were messing around. We were messing around with ships. So Ben comes and says, "Let me show you the worst fighter in all of Star Citizen," and pulls out the Anvil Super Hornet Heartseeker. Okay, that ship is messed up okay that shit is that that ship is so broken the rear seat the rear seat on that ship does absolutely nothing the wing guns can't hit anything because they're pointed out like that so they don't they're, they're pointed out they don't point forward they point like out so they can't hit anything the rear seat does nothing you can do nothing you have two buttons you have two buttons that you can do in that rear seat, which is supposedly like the co-pilot seat, right? Two buttons. The first button is to turn the power to the ship off. Which is not helpful. The second button is to eject yourself from the ship. And as we discovered in that clip, what happens when you eject yourself from a ship is it immediately blows it up, killing whoever else is in the ship. So you have two options when sitting in the backseat of the Heartseeker. Turn the ship off or blow the ship up. That is all you can do. You can do nothing else. It is so bad. <laughs> I don't know why it exists. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Oh, gosh. Um, this, oh gosh, holy this VR game crap, is fun. Holy crap. Um, okay, uh, yeah, this VR, uh, VR freaking Star Trek, super fun, super fun. We need to play this game. Why, why is my play this game? It, it, play this again. <laughs> play this again. There we go. What the hell? Yeah, we just <laughs> we just spent some time <laughs> punching each other in the middle of a constellation. This game was fun. Um. Yeah, Stray. Stray, really oh, good game. Oh, no. Whoa. Another example of Saban not being able to fly. <laughs> Those are, jack buttons are one of your gripes with the game. Why is it not a uh, handle between your legs? It is a handle between your legs. <laughs> it is a handle between your legs. Dude, what the crap? Did you not see oh, you guys are such me pull noobs. that eject? Oh, you guys don't play the game. I play this video game every single day. That's actually a pretty recent uh, a clip that happened. But yeah, Saban doesn't know. Did Saban ever get his pilot's license? I don't think he did. Uh, yeah, I don't think he did. <laughs> All right. Well, there is my attempt at... All right. So this is from my 24-hour stream that I did for... Was that for 4,000 subscribers? I think it was. This was very near the end. Um, I had just randomly decided to buy like a drawing tablet and someone asked me to draw a ship. And so, <laughs> so uh, fairly certain your prowler, no, it was my prowler. It was your, you were in your, um, whatever it's called, the, the Apoa thing. Um, Cartuol, yeah, you were in the Cartuol. You don't even own a prowler. I do own a prowler. I do own a prowler. Not Santok Yai. Santok Yai doesn't exist, my guy. That's coming out supposedly this year. <laughs> yeah, car to all. Um, anyways, Morgor, if he's still if he's still in chat, asked me to draw his favorite ship, which is which is a freelancer, and this was my uh, attempt after. 
um, streaming for about 23 hours at this point at uh, drawing a freelancer. And as you can see, it's beautiful. And he printed it and stuck it on his fridge. Morgor, I don't know if he's still in if he's still in chat. He's in weird time zone, so he probably went to bed. But if he's still here, I need to ask him if it's still on his fridge. Still on the fridge? Yeah! <laughs> it's still on the fridge. <laughs> That's amazing. That is amazing. But yeah, I was very tired when I was doing this. Also, I suck at art. So, uh, yeah. That was Drawing fun. a freelancer. I mean, you're going higher as you yep. spiral up. Eventually, you might just... <laughs> Still stuck in the so tree. So we just sit here, but we just sit here and and wait for it to just pop me out the top, I guess. Uh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know why you decided to pick a fight with with me and my Corsair. The six hundred I is not agile enough to to uh, outfly Shelly. Which is, in, which is surprising because the Corsair handles like a freaking boss, but um, that hurt. Yeah, I love that the ship tells you congratulations. It does. It tells you congratulations when you kill someone. It makes you feel very good. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys ever just like peeled a lemon? like an orange and then just like eating it like an orange no because i'm not yeah. fucking psychopath okay wow what a frame to pause on um <laughs> so chat have you guys ever peeled a lemon like an orange and eaten it like an orange just like peel it and then just like eat the lemon slices it's good lemons are delicious they're very sour it's like a sour orange yes see See? See? Good job, Joden. Good job. This was freaking February. Gosh, what, what 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 was this even for? 2500 subs, something like that. You've never eaten a lemon? You've never eaten a lemon? What? What kind of life are you living if you've never eaten a lemon? The heck is going on here? Hi, Moo. You're late. Um yeah, this was an this was an interesting stream. I made the mistake of adding this option as a poll for uh, on uh, YouTube community posts as for what to do for a for a stream. What, what was what was this? Was this twenty five hundred subs? I think yeah, I think. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, but it was for something. Anyways, yeah, I I streamed as a cat girl. And I think this I think this was also a I think this was also a, a PTU patch release like wave one as well. So it um, it it meshed up pretty well uh, timing. Yeah, I, I shaved my beard to make the cosplay work a little bit better. Um, it obviously obviously made a difference, right? <laughs> There you go. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Okay. Elden Ring. Ow. 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 Elden Ring. So much fun. Ow. I absolutely no. love this game. It's so but I good. It. It's so good. Totally uh, deserved the 400i. Uh, game obviously, the is the goat. I I put that clip in there to piss Savannah off because he doesn't like the 400i for some reason. I like it. It's a good ship. I love the 400i. Thank you. Someone this... in chat appreciates it too. Yeah, that was a rage quit. Um, <laughs> so ugly. It is not ugly. It is beautiful. Uh, yeah, so a friend of mine kind of forced me to play Kingdom Hearts. Horrible game. Hated it. Absolutely stupid. Controls awfully. Never play it. <laughs> oh no! I, oh my god! <laughs> well, hi this guys. Was... <laughs> hey, oh gosh! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm not in the ship. <laughs> okay, I, 
I could not have asked for better comedic timing from the gods of comedic timing. Seriously, that was so funny. I, I got knocked down onto the floor from a force reaction. And then for some reason, the elevator went down and just ejected me out of the ship. And then I had no control over myself when I, when I was in space. Like I couldn't move. I couldn't, I couldn't like look around. I was just stuck like in prone in space and they had to come back and like scoop me up with the cargo bay of the Connie, which was, uh, which was fun. You don't hate it. You think you own two of them, just not the best ship in any metric. I, I, I don't say it's the best ship, but it is my favorite ship because it makes me happy. And that's what's important. It makes me happy. <laughs> Love how he gives the flower that he got okay. from another girl to uh, Tifa. <laughs> Final Fantasy. Um, I mean, I, what? Just explode. Okay, Final Fantasy remake. I super fun. I tried to get into Cutlass. I really enjoyed it. Like it. <laughs> uh, there was there was Morigor. Morigor, you're a good you're a good lad. Um, did I try hard mode on what Final Fantasy VII remake? No, I have not. But oh, so the Crisis Core remake came out. I actually have it. I have been meaning to play it. Um, I want to I want to stream that, but I just didn't have time in December. So maybe sometime this month. I will make time to sit down and uh, play through the Crisis Core remake because I really, really loved the um, the Final Fantasy VII remake. I'm super excited for um, for the uh, the second part of that. It's super fun. <laughs> yeah, you're entire. Um, the wig is the worst part, honestly. Not gonna lie, it's it's horrible. It was horrible. Ah. I still have ah. it. It's in my closet. Ah. It's awful. <laughs> They knew what they were doing when they put this dialogue option here. They absolutely knew what they were doing, okay? Listen, they... <laughs> they knew what they were doing. All right? I, 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 I know that they knew what they were doing. Want something hard, baby. Wall market? We'll we'll get oh, to yeah. wall market, okay? Oh yeah. I'll give you something hard, alright. Holy oh, shit. Not ashamed of making that joke. So this I invited a I invited a, a VTuber friend of mine who I'm currently covering to um, play the game. I've been trying to get her to play this game for forever. And when we played, for some reason the server performance was just awful. I don't think I've ever seen the server performing this badly. So what what it resulted in was, first of all, we couldn't make parties because the party system was just completely non-functional. Completely non-functional. It was almost impossible to get into the, like, the same game. Um, no party markers, nothing like, nothing like that. And also, the rubber banding was nuts. Absolutely nuts. Um, just like teleporting everywhere. It was, so my great idea was to put on one of those horrifying Halloween masks, like the weird, like bear smiley face masks. And so just, like, oh, every time I like, teleported like, next to her, oh, it no. was like a jump scare, <laughs> which I thought was hilarious. <laughs> the, oh no, the rubber banding. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you can see go. me okay. <laughs> hatching the plan here. Like my oh, distinctive hat. <laughs> so yeah, I I, I turned awesome. Star Citizen uh, into a horror bad. game is like, is, is, is what I did this. there. Yeah. How am I feeling? Sick. This is this is right at the end of that um, 24 hour stream. I felt awful. I was so tired. I was so tired. I feel horrible. Also, okay, can we talk about that 24-hour stream? I was so mad. I could not get Star Citizen to work that entire stream. It just kept crashing. Um, I, I couldn't, I, the game, it wouldn't run for even like five minutes. I was so mad. I was planning on playing Star Citizen for like the entirety of that stream, and I just couldn't. I just couldn't. It made me so freaking mad, okay? 
you guys have no idea how mad that made me that I couldn't play Star Citizen during that 24 hour stream. I was so upset. I was so upset. Um, I was having some other technical issues, but that was like the that was like the big one. Um, it really put a kind of put a damper on my spirits. I ended up playing some other games like uh, Deep Rock and Xenoblade and stuff like that, but I really wanted to play Star Citizen. Yeah. Behold my amazing driving skills. I need to play more Cyberpunk. I need, I need to finish playing through that game. Um, I literally did like the one stream and then just got so busy I with my job and stuff that I, I haven't been able to finish playing. Oh, did you just eject? Yeah. Oh my god, you blew me up. <laughs> asshole. It still blows the ship up. Almost ranch trading. I don't. The, uh... Okay. Why? 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 Why does it blow the ship up when you eject? Why? Like, in, in, uh, I, I don't get it. Someone explain this to me, please. A uh, shaft. <laughs> bunker missions well, are really fun. I, mean, I love bunker missions. For you, um, <laughs> they're great. <laughs> Both sheets should be linked. Oh yeah, but they're not. Which means that Ooh. you can just arbitrarily oh, like murder people. Ooh. If you're in a if you're in a like that looks uh, multi seat ship with um oh my gosh it worked oh my gosh it worked <laughs> oh yeah this was the first implementation <laughs> of the ATC keybind oh my gosh <laughs> appropriate reaction I think the ATC keybind is great it is it is my most used keybind it's beautiful. <laughs> Just cat things. I played a lot of really fun games last year. It was, it was a good year. It was a good year. Yeah. Screw your rug. I'm very bad with horror games, as you can probably tell. <laughs> we should play more hey, indie yeah. horror games, Sedan. Okay, this, this, I, <laughs> I could not have asked for better comedic timing on that. Literally, literally like the first actual cutscene of the entire game of Cyberpunk and they just start T-posing. I, I don't know, I don't know what I did. I had people coming in and like watching me play the game and saying that they have never seen the game like have that many bugs as as it did when I was playing it. I don't know what I I don't know what curse I have that just like makes bugs happen in video games. But I I, I just like something. Okay. Okay, I I don't get it. I don't get it, man. I don't know. But it happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Seriously, so funny. Oh. <laughs> yeah, both sheets should be linked, uh, I, but they're like not. Yeah, where's? Did you just? Did you draw a penis in? <laughs> yeah, I had a little bit of. <laughs> We're extremely mature. Extremely mature. Die! Yeah! Okay. Let's just talk about Margit, okay? <laughs> this dude should not be the first boss in the game. He is so much harder than, like, the next, like, four bosses. <laughs> For some reason. I, I don't know. I don't know. You hated the Elden Ring days? Whoa. Why? Elden Ring is so good. It's so much fun. It's such a good game. You need to play it. Listen, man, I don't know why I don't know why you bash on Elden Ring. It's like uh it's like Chris Roberts' favorite game right now. Hey DC, how you doing, man? Oh, that generally Hi. took me off guard. 
I felt her. Because before playing Cyberpunk, I had seen Edge Runners, and that's what Hello. made me like actually want to play the Why game. Why is he here? Is Edge Runners? So. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh. Okay, this this freaking audio clip is so painful, and so just like horrible. Okay, like. WTF, he knows about gameplay. Have you tried 3.18 yet? Yeah. Just wait till wait till we add wait till he adds um dodge rolls to Star Citizen. Hey, that's what um maybe maybe that's what maybe that's why they're starting to push for death of a spaceman. Because uh because uh, Kroberts died so many times in Elden Ring, and he was like, oh, this is what a good video game needs. Death! Death! <laughs> maybe that's why all the... Maybe that's why the elevators kill you. It's not a bug. It's a feature. They're just weeding out the weak, the unworthy. Bro, you died to Grim Hex Elevator? Get good. Learn how to be a real gamer. All right, we're gonna we're gonna skip this. I because it's extremely loud <laughs> and very obnoxious. But it was funny. I don't know why I decided to dance to this whole awful song. What? Quantum interdiction? I'm being interdicted? So I had just finished loading up the entire Corsair with massive Gatlings and we were flying where were we going I can't even remember where we go. I think we we're going to do like a bounty and and just got interdicted by NPCs <laughs> shame I don't stream on Twitch anymore oh boy oh boy oh that's right it was you who did that wasn't it more um, yeah. I was gonna say an idea these for your hoodie. Are these players? No, they're no, they're not. No, it's not players. It's okay. There's some. There's actually. Um, there's actually some games that I kind of want to play that like would be cool to stream on Twitch because Twitch has integrations like Cult of the Lamb. Um, that looks like a fun game, and it has a, like a really cool Twitch integration because you can add members of your Twitch chat to your cult. So that's funny. Do you remember when they first introdu uh, introduced interdiction and it would happen for every five seconds in QT? Um, I don't remember that. I do remember in in like the very first iteration of the 3.18 patch, though, every time you tried to quantum travel, it would activate the self-destruct on the ship. And that was terrifying. That was really terrifying. <laughs> It's uh, it's AI. Oh. Okay, so uh, the, the like the very first like wave one PTU, three point eighteen patch, I think was just like the most unintentionally terrifying patch of Star Citizen ever because because your self destruct would just activate randomly, um, and then turn itself off after a couple of seconds, like when you tried to uh, quantum travel. And also, if you tried to bedlog in your ship, <laughs> if you tried to bedlog in your ship, it would tell you that you can't log out because there's someone else on your ship. That is terrifying because <laughs> yeah, that had me, I, I didn't realize that it was a bug. I was just like running around my ship looking for a stowaway. And it didn't help that I was in the Reclaimer, which is like the most alien, like aliens ship, like Nostromo horrible ship in the entire game. That was freaking me out. I was like, I don't know. And then, and then you go to a landing zone and none of the terminal, none of the displays on the terminals work. So you get into the uh, you so you get into the landing zone, then you can't leave because you can't see which uh, you can't see where the elevator's taking you. Yeah. 
to, uh, just making sure you're still awake. Yeah, Twitch doesn't help the smaller streamers get audiences, but YouTube isn't much better at that either. True. Um, yeah, true. I think that YouTube is actually better at helping smaller um, smaller streamers get audiences than Twitch is. I think it's much better at doing that. Um, but unfortunately, YouTube doesn't have some of the really cool integrations that Twitch has, um, like stuff you can do with Twitch. Chat. So it's kind of a, a give take. Overall, I think I prefer YouTube as a platform for sure, but um, yeah, yeah. There, there are some things that I might do like multi-streaming on Twitch for, like if I want to take advantage of some of the cool integrations that they have. Oh boy! <laughs> All right, hello. Okay, but like, Woo! can we just talk about how much DACA Photoshop that is? Generator. Holy it's crap. even if it's not actually like <gasps> even if it's I not have, actually that like effective story. i think just about putting just a million rounds before, down range uh, with I like a bunch out, of massive like, gatlings it's just super so satisfying like board and i and i was out body surfing yeah. in on the waves so i included this I included this. I asked in the Discord, actually, what some people's favorite clips of 2022 were. And someone uh, someone told me that one of their favorite clips, I can't remember who it was, but they told me that one of their favorite clips was me telling the jellyfish story. I completely forgot that I had told this story on stream. Basically, what happened is I was body surfing in Florida and a jellyfish came out of the waves, hit me in the face, and its tentacles went like all down my chest and stuff. Had to go get like a bottle of vinegar dumped on me at like a seaside restaurant shack. It was extraordinarily painful. Um, yeah, so I included that for, yeah, whoever it was that um, said that was one of their favorite clips. I appreciate that. <laughs> Because I had completely forgotten that I told this story to on apparently. stream. Completely it forgot. Definitely unexpected. I'll be fine. You've seen how much back I can get. I know. <clears throat> Moo. Caught in 4K. Caught in 4K. <laughs> <laughs> At least they didn't try to pee on you. Yeah, that would have been traumatizing. I was like, uh, I think I was like, um, I was like 14 or 15 or something when that happened. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was still a teenager. <laughs> yeah, Moo caught in 4K there. Obviously, I'm not much better, but, um... <clears throat> God, Tifa was so hot in that outfit. Oh my gosh, she was so freaking hot. And, uh, yep. there was a streamer that, um, saw it. Okay, can we talk about how freaking cool the glaive looks, though? It is such a cool-looking ship. Um, it is absolutely epic-looking. It sucks in-game. There's, like, no reason to ever use it, because the guns are terrible and you can't change them and it flies terribly and it's massive and it doesn't have very good shields either so there's like no reason to ever use the glaive but it looks really cool the stabby bits oh yeah it does have the the swords that come out that can um pretty much like one shot any ship which is i'm not sure if that's actually intentional or not um but it's going to change into space bug. I hope that they don't change the glaive because I think that the new design of the glaive looks infinitely less interesting than this design for the glaive, honestly. Like look, just look how look how cool that looks. Look 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 how cool it look how cool it looks, okay? Let me pull up Van Dream glaive. Let me just see if I can find this is this is what hang on open in a no no open image in new tab thank you very much 
why why does it only open that big? Uh, open image and new tab. Is this better? Why are they trying to make it look like this? This looks stupid. It looks like this. Why are you? Why? Why? Uh, this looks so much worse, right? Right? I would be happy if they keep it as the human version, like they reversed engineered it with human parts. That would be nice because it, it, uh, this is an absolute shame to get rid of this, okay? This is, this ship is just, it's stunning to look at. It's so cool. I love the red lighting on it. In like, in like the dark, it just glow. It's just like this black thing that just like glows with these like red veins all over. It's so, so cool looking. I think in the light, it looks a little less cool because it's just like red with like flames on it. Obviously, someone got a little too excited over at Cousin Crows with it. But um, but yeah, it's so cool. Please, please, CIG, don't change it. Or at least if or at least it, like if this has to exist, let this also exist, please. Please, I beg you. I beg like, you. And was like chasing it's, me down, trying to figure just, out what it it's, was. It's gorgeous. And he just said, oh, it's a death ship. And I'm like, what? Uh, okay, so this is, this is another funny thing about the interior HUD of, of the Glaive. Everything is red, including other ships, because it just automatically marks everything red as enemies. So, so it... It's difficult to tell who is actually uh, on your side or not in FanDuel ships. But that's cool because it's, it's just like, ever, kill everyone. <laughs> they were trying to figure out what it was. Everything is a target. Yeah, exactly. Later. It's it's really funny. But, I mean, their stream just had a complete ball looking at it because uh, most <laughs> of them had never Look how seen cool that before. ship looks, though. It's, yeah. it, seriously, it's one of the coolest ships in the world. Oh, shit. Mother flucker. Tried to cut the, me is so loud. No, extreme. It's Get away so from my loud. ship. Get away from my ship. This is this was the first patch that the Corsair existed, okay? And so for him, his Corsair was landing just fine. For me, his Corsair was not landing just fine. But apparently for him, my Corsair had its wings out. There was a little bit of a uh, little bit of ship to ship desync going on in this patch. Just 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 a little bit. Right now, as, as you can see. <laughs> you get away from my ship. Stop it! No. You're destroying my ship. It's free. No, it's fine. Oh no. Okay, I'm How is the new how is the new height? Oh oh that's right. They did change the landing height of the Corsair, didn't they? I I haven't I haven't looked. I, I don't know. Might have uh, It's probably fine. I I might have gotten I might have gone slightly. This pissed me off. I the, yeah, yeah. this made me very mad. No way. This. I ship. lost like two hours of progress to the game, just deciding not that the autosave just didn't work. Put me back. Put me this far back. What the heck? Are are you? Are you fucking kidding me? I was very mad. Okay. Uh, I spent. I spent way too long resetting the game to get a good score on this stupid dancing minigame, okay? It is harder than it looks. <laughs> Drake ships look the same after being hull stripped. Yeah, that's because Drake ships are just hull stripped other ships. <laughs> I spent way too long uh, trying to get a good score on this stupid dancing minigame. Um, yeah. <laughs> the dancing game was long? It was. Yes! It was fun, though. Oh. <laughs> Obviously, my Corsair is the, the superior Corsair. I was victorious. <laughs> what? My, my ship just said congratulations. Really? <laughs> yeah, it actually did. What Star Citizen truly needs is cat girls. Yes. Yes. 
thinks it does. I'm very proud of that video, actually. Um, I, I think it turned out and that, that was a really fun video to make. I'm about to land the ship into the water. All right. Oh, this was yeah. This was also the patch. No, this was um, this was the patch that the river was first introduced. So we uh, we took some Connie Phoenixes over to the river to test out. This man had the great idea to try to land his um, his Archimedes in the river, and it did not work. It did not work. <laughs> Um, turns out the river works fine with people in it. It just doesn't like ships in it or vehicles of any kind. <laughs> oh, shit! Wing Commander had cat kind of girls. Snatcher. Why can't we? Exactly. That that's, that's what I'm saying, man. That's what I'm saying. Drive. A game's not <laughs> truly complete without just cat girls in it. Okay, seriously. Seriously, Tactical. the handling of these things is absolutely awful. That it is it is not good awesome. enough <laughs> to be able to do those um, okay, so tight the, turns. The light of the Rune Station looks fantastic, by the way. I'm super excited. It makes me very excited for uh, Pyro. Um, they still haven't fixed this, by the way. Ship. Oh. <laughs> the light still points sideways. <laughs> it, only, it only points one direction. And that direction is decidedly not very helpful. It, they haven't fixed it. You try the big yet. elevator, see if it works. I'll try the person elevator, personnel elevator and see if it kills me. Yeah, you can. It You're in my party. It doesn't. It, so you mean to tell me the elevator's broke still? So. Uh, they handled so well <laughs> in the trailer. <laughs> yeah, they, um, they must have taken the... Um, they must have taken the... Uh, The Ubisoft approach to trailer to uh, gameplay trailers. Okay, so this I realized I realized that I had not done enough quests to get the ending with Tifa, so I restarted the game, stayed up all night, and replayed the entire game back to the same point. That I was just so that I could, uh, just so that I could get the special cutscene with Tifa. Did was uh, played through the entire game again up to this point, so that I could get the ending that I wanted. <laughs> this is a pretty sick. Yes, I'm dumb. Looking handgun. Not gonna lie. Okay, so uh, so. I, I found Cyberpunk to be so cool. I actually purchased the uh, Cyberpunk Red Tabletop RPG. Um, I'm hoping to be able to uh, to run a game with that system. It looks really cool. Weird Drake refund is not available. Fix any problems that may arise after purchase. Uh, yeah, pretty sure. <laughs> I think it would be funny if uh, I, I think it would be funny if Drake ships just didn't just didn't come with insurance. <laughs> They're just like the only ships that never are sold with insurance. I think that would be funny. See, the issue that I have... Okay, here's the issue that I have with Drake ships. Is they're supposed to be like the the cheap... Like... Like... The cheap and like budget-friendly everyman's ship. Right? But they're not cheap. They're expensive still. It makes no sense. This manifesto. Okay, so there's my, there's my little man. Let's uh, let's skip around. Um, I, nice try, I guess, Savan. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. <laughs> I did. Yeah. So two favorite features of the Corsair. The first, the little teeny tiny fan. The second is this screen that just sits on the floor. Um. And um is pretty useless because it just mirrors what's on this other screen over here but it's a nice uh, it's a I nice didn't aesthetic even feature there's a monitor down there that's hilarious i like that uh this was terrifying uh, oh 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 my gosh <laughs> did you fall out of the ship <laughs> no 
I'm fine. Glad to know. I didn't. I technically didn't fall out of the ship. Just very nearly did. Um. Let, let's let's skip that. Let me see. Uh, what else? Oh, this is in this is in Cyberpunk with that horrifying mission. Um. There's some other good moments. Oh yeah, killing the final boss in the Elden Ring. Yep. Yep. Oh, so yeah. Dude, space what engineers. did you do? You just I lo It's loading. Oh gosh, the lag. Okay. It was due. So I don't know. What did you do? I don't know what he did, Man, but that was fun. He, Dude, what just did like you him, do? You just I loaded spawning into, into the game. Broke the whole freaking just server. Completely lag yeah, out. The server crapped itself. All right, it's not my fault. Why have we not played more Space Engineers? That was pretty fun. We did kind of give up on like the whole survival thing pretty quickly though, and just started uh, just started spawning stuff in though. <laughs> we only lasted, yeah, we only lasted a few hours um, before we just started randomly spawning stuff in. Yeah, and you had God Mode. You were like, you're like, why are you guys com why are you guys complaining about resources? I, I I've never run out of resources, <laughs> and you just you just had God Mode on. And fault. had no idea. Where did I think you it, load in I think at? it is your fault, actually. Load in at the base. Where did he go? Oh, he's, he's up in the friggin' sky. I enjoyed that fight. Come down no. here! Okay, this fight was super cool. Amazing theme. Uh, let's, uh, let's skip around a little more. Um, yep, being that. Yep, more cyberpunk. Um. Just, you killed me. Yeah, so he was stuck on that uh, Gatling turret, and <laughs> and um, I saved him, and he was not very thankful. Oh, I just you killed me. Are are you straight up dead or just in cap? Oh no! Oh no! You're now. oh no! You're up. Hey, I fixed you. We're good. <laughs> okay. Now the. Okay, that cutlass steel is so broken. It is so hilariously broken. Seriously, it is. It's still broken. I, I don't know why. Yeah, I. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know how it is still so broken. Anyways, that's uh, that's pretty much what happened in. in 2022 was fun. I hope to. I, I hope that this is a better year than uh, 2022. I think we all do. Can't possibly be worse than 2020, right? Knock on wood. Do I have anything written here? Oh yeah. Over there. Knock on wood. All right. Uh, okay. Oh, surprisingly, my voice is actually holding out fairly well. I thought I would be completely unable to speak at this point. <sighs> you know what time it is? You guys know what time it is? I think I think it is time. Let's um Let's boot up Star Citizen. Uh, were I here when Levski wasn't removed? No. Nope. Uh, Levski, the last patch that Levski was in was 13, uh, 3.13.0, and I joined in 3.13.1. So I never saw Levski. Oh, the hangar module. So, I have no emotional attachment whatsoever to Levski, honestly. Yeah. Oh, I'm losing my action there. All right. Hey, Star Citizen. Hang on, guys. I'm going to... 
I'm going to move us. We're gonna we're going on another trip. In our favorite rocket ship. <clears throat> it's Miller time. What? Um, where do we want to go? Oh, let's Bonadoras and why not? Let's go. Okay. All right. You know, you know, we've got like an hour. Um, let's go and let's go try to find that um that 600i slash uh, MSR crash site. Shall we? Does anyone have any idea how to get there? <laughs> I have no idea. How to find 600i crash site star citizen. We'll just wing it. Yeah. Just wing it. By the way, uh, by the way, if you guys would like to join me in game, you are more than welcome to. And also, uh, if you'd like to join me in the Discord chat and uh, and have a little chit chat, you are more than welcome to join me as well. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> um Ooh, this is uh this is off to a, a promising start. Okay. Um I might be I might be stuck here. <laughs> I might not I might not be able to get back up. Uh-oh. PTU. Yes. Oh, yes. This is uh this is 3.82. Oh, no! Well. I would have survived. I would have survived. So, funny thing. Um, this is why I live at Lorville. <laughs> funny thing. If you, if you fall off something and, like, land on the ground, if you use a med pen as soon as you hit the ground... Um, it, it actually heals you up before the fall damage can can uh, knock you out. <laughs> Probably not intentional, but it works. The more you know. <laughs> <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm dying. Also, hi, Zvan. How you doing? Yeah, we're off to a fantastic start, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> if you die, you know, will all your ships to Mu. What? Nah, we'll be fine. Right, let's... Yeah. Let's she see. should just get them all. <laughs> you don't buy med pads? I didn't, I didn't buy that. You, you just spawned with one, naturally. What is this character model? <laughs> um, you know what? What? Why not? Let's 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 ball out. Yeah, yeah. I think um, I think I, I think this is the this is the time. This is the time to ball out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. And uh. Okay. And uh. Think. 
and weapons. Yep, let's uh, equip that and equip that. And uh, yeah, yeah, I, I like it. I like it. Okay. Other, I'm not sure where that is. Other is, but uh, that's just random stuff. Okay. All right, we're good. Good to go. Surely nothing can possibly happen to me with all this on now. We need better inventory sorting? Yes, we do. Well, yeah, we definitely do. <laughs> you hate seeing ship components and weapons mixed in, especially when we uh, when you have loads of missiles. Yeah, it is a little bit inconvenient, isn't it? Now that you think about it. Um, are we... All right. Uh, are we still friends on the PTU, Saban, or has one of us uh, reset their PTU account since the last time we played? I can't remember. Uh, I guess there's a one way to no, find out. No, we're not out. friends because they've had like two patches drop since we played. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, send me a friend request. And... and then we will uh, go from there. All right. <clears throat> anyway. I always forget. Oh my gosh, it's like the Atlas thing. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, seeing everyone walking in place, uh, that's a... That's a good sign. Providence platform. This is spaceport. Okay, here we go. I am the shiniest thing in the entire universe. <laughs> All right. Let's yeah, let's go find that uh let's go find that 600 i uh wreck thing. And MSR wreck. They're they're Wait, so the MSR and the 600i wreck, they're like in the same spot, right? Kind of? I thought they were. Uh, I think they're on the same moon. Okay. Uh, wait, you can't hear me in Discord? What? Is my voice not coming through Discord? What? No. Okay. Can't hear you. <laughs> uh, Discord. 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 Can Can you hear me through Discord now? Approaching next station. If this is your stop, please prepare to disembark. Last call for passengers. Hold on, talk. The shuttle is prepared. Uh, testing, testing. No, I can't hear you. What the heck is going on with the Discord, dude? The next shuttle is approaching. That's so weird. Moo, can you hear him in Discord? Enjoying the view? Our recently redesigned Crusader Industries shuttlecraft feature expanded what the, vista what? passengers. What is going on with Discord, man? Why did ev everything yeah, breaks? Yes, so it's on your end. Everything breaks. Okay, let me try let me try restart Discord. Give me a sec. It may not read your audio inputs. That would suck. Uh, let's kill Discord. All right, and then let's just get out of the elevator so it doesn't go anywhere without me. And uh, Discord. Give me a sec. Just troubleshooting. Just troubleshooting. All right, I'm back. Can you hear me now? Oh, yeah, I can hear you. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I don't know what was up with Discord. I just 
I just like restarted it and now it works, I guess. Cool. Yeah. Okay, let's, uh, so we need to go to Daymar. That's the start. Oh god, oh. it's saying that the service is unavailable to add friends. What? So I guess I'm going to do it the old way. Yeah, remember to go to the website. Oh, are you kidding me? We have to do... <laughs> yeah. That's so stupid. Um, if you, if you send me through that, will I receive the friend request in-game? Uh, I really don't know. Let me see. Only one way to find out, I guess. Ooh, hang on. Alright, let's see here. Um, let's pull up this, this little baby. Ah, uh, the C8R Pisces Rescue. Beautiful. Come on. Come on. Oh boy. What are you pulling up? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go with uh, Code Blue. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, did you send me a friend request? No, I just got on the website. You gotta okay. give me a second. Alright. Let's see. Alright, let's see if I get anything. Okay, I thought it wasn't gonna <laughs> pop up for a second there. So, you know, good to know that the PTU is working flawlessly today, you guys. Flawless. No problems whatsoever. <laughs> oh, we're going to be in wave one for a while still, aren't we? Oh, yeah, March. Uh, sent a friend request. Okay, I didn't Don't have see it. anything come through, so let me, let me check the... Yeah, I don't see anything. Oh, gosh. I yeah, forget. so you're going to have to go to the website. Oh, gosh. I forget how to even do that. I'll send you the link. Okay, thank you. I haven't had to do that since freaking... Be happy that used know. to be the old way where we had to copy our <laughs> account. <laughs> oh gosh! All right, let me um, pull this up. Ptu. Cloud Imperium Games. Connect. Okay. Can we... Sign in failed. You may have entered the wrong credentials. Oh. Yeah, you got to go to your Ptu uh, email. Ah, oh. <laughs> such a pain in the butt. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. Okay. All right. Okay. Um. Sure. This is thrilling content. Yeah. So thrilling. Wow. Much thrilling. Very wow. You are clear to launch. At least the, um, at least the ATC keybind key works, thankfully. Uh, okay, and, um, the, <laughs> the PT website doesn't work. What? You got to sign in using the, um. Yeah, I did. Uh, with the bunch of numbers. Yeah. I don't know, you just screwed yeah, then. Yeah, I did. Now it, just, now it just says public test universe sandbox mode. Oh, yeah, it's going to say that. I go to the top and hit spectrum. Uh, community spectrum. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Ah, yeah. okay. All right, all right. X 
Accept. Accept. Validation failed. Validation yeah, failed. It, it's going to say that. Go to manage your friends and that should pop up. Uh, where is where, where is manage your friends? How do I look at that? Uh, uh, top right. Look for the person looking thing. Manage friends. Okay. Friend requests. Validation failed. Accept. Validation failed. Okay. Well, let's see if I'm up whatever I sign to the game. Uh, add friend. Saban. Um, yeah, it's not, it, it's not letting me, oh, never mind. Now we're friends for some reason. I I don't know. That was weird. Yeah. Glad yeah. Uh, glad that works. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Um. Yeah. All right. So where where are we going? Damar. 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 Uh. Damar. Is that right? Let's go, Damar. Away we go. Yeah, so I can get out the Phoenix to show you the piano. <laughs> okay, so um, I forget where we need it. What bogey? Uh oh. I'm going to Pisces. That's a Redeemer. Oh, a Redeemer? Is that a... I've never seen AI in a Redeemer, so... Yeah, it's probably, probably a player ship. Um, I'm just going to not poke that okay uh where okay where where am i trying to go or kudri or hydroponics post m2 or core mining area tpf mt999 okay this is the place i'm supposed to go okay let's go Gosh, it's it's dark side. Let's see. Friends. Right. Oh. Somehow I miraculously showed uh, up into your server. Hey, sweet. Origin six hundred I executive, huh? I thought How you were bringing. That? I thought you were bringing the Phoenix. This is what I spawned into. I gotta get it. Okay. How do you see what ship I'm in? Uh, cause we're cause we're in a party. Oh. Ow! 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 Ah! Oh gosh, that was the ground. I was being shot at by something. What? What was shooting at me? Well, that um, that went well. Yeah, you and me both blew up. I really don't understand how. <laughs> Wait, you you blew up? Yeah, I blew up too, and there was a redeemer right <laughs> inside of me. <laughs> I really don't understand this game. I, I don't know, man. Oh, I'm back at Orison. Cool. <laughs> Great. Uh, there goes uh, there goes my full executive armor. <laughs> 
Ya. Yeah. <laughs> what? Do you don't I even have a gown on? Did they just stop giving it out? No, I just. Oh no, I never just mind. You do. Off. I just took it off. It it just took a second to uh, remember. I guess. Um. Yeah, okay. Uh, armor. Helmet. Let's put on another shiny piece of armor. I can't possibly lose two shiny pieces of armor in one stream, can I? <laughs> I like the undersuit. Yeah, th yeah, this is really, really cool looking set. I, I really like it. The problem it. is that it doesn't have a flashlight on it. Does it not? No. Uh, what's that? What do you mean in ar what do you mean in armistice zone? I can equip just equip it. Oh, can you not? Oh, because it's... Oh, it's just an undersuit, so you can only equip pistols. Yeah. Ooh, okay. That's kind of annoying, actually. Why is it just an arm undersuit? It doesn't have any other pieces of armor? Mm-mm. I didn't, I didn't realize that. Okay, that's... um. That's kind of inconvenient, actually. It does look... It is cool looking, though. Um, yeah, good thing this is PTU. Yeah, exactly. All right. I guess we're... I guess we're doing a different... Uh, different set of armor. Put the Christmas one on. <laughs> Did the Christmas... They didn't have, like, helmets or anything for the Christmas armor, did they? It was just the undersuits, right? I can't remember. Maybe. Pretty sure it was just the undersuits. Okay, let's go... Um... Yeah, let's do 08 core. And I want that. And then. Yeah, Inquisitor arms. And Inquisitor legs. Yeah, I didn't realize that that location on Daymar uh, shot at you. I also didn't realize I was that close to the floor. So let's let's try this again. <laughs> we came in too hot. I'm good at this game. Um, I tried to I tried to avoid getting shot by the turret and crashed into the ground. And I'm still a better pilot than you. Doubtful. <laughs> oh, there you are. Gosh. Oh. Where are you? Oh. Uh, I'm a million. Uh, yeah, 31 million clicks away. Yeah. Luckily, this is where all the ships are, so <laughs> shouldn't be too hard. I look like those guys from Stargate. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I've never actually watched Stargate. I remember you saying that. That blows my mind. Yeah, I don't know. It just, like, was never part of my childhood, I guess. I don't know. It wasn't part of mine. I just watched it as an adult in reruns. <laughs> it was good. How can I not watch Stargate? I don't know. How much is there of Stargate? Isn't there like a lot? A lot. There's a lot. Yeah. Ain't nobody got time of time for that. I'll just go rewatch The Expanse instead. Last call for passengers. The shuttle is preparing to depart. 
Uh, what? What? What do you mean the shuttle? This is why I don't go to Ooh. Orison. Jeez. <laughs> Everything is very strange here. <laughs> I watched Stargate and we will consider watching The Expanse. You need to watch The Expanse. It's so good. It is so good. It is the best sci-fi series ever. It is literally the best. I love it. <clears throat> Did they, um, they changed the altitude at Orson, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's much, much lower now. I forgot I said that I was going to make that my home. The books are considered better of of what the expanse i haven't read the books actually that's not true i've read part of the first one um i just haven't had time to finish reading it <laughs> what was that <laughs> everything is <laughs> it's so decent is the ship going sideways <laughs> No, it's just occasionally teleporting into walls. Last call for passengers. Mm. The shuttle is preparing to depart. Um, the books are better and have much more story than the TV show. I mean, that's Enjoying the view? that's are generally a given for pretty much anything Expanding that is like a book that's Their been adapted to. Stonehenge. Um, movie or television is the books are usually better because the story continues for another 30 years in the books I know they need the story to continue for another 30 years in the TV show as well I think the uh, the the cast that they have for like the core cast of the expanse is just fantastic they're so good I, r I really love that cast I think they're great Hmm. Ah, yes, the NPCs just out for their morning stroll. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> nice. I, lo I love Star Citizen. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> oh. There's more. Oh, there, there's even more. <laughs> oh, please read the books. They are great. And now I have faces to put to the characters. Yes, I, like I said, like I said, I plan to, I plan to read the books. I have, um, I think I have all the books. I, I got them all like on, um, like for my Amazon, uh, like my Kindle thing. So, um, like I plan on reading them. I just, um, like I started reading one on a, I was going somewhere. I was on a trip, I think. And then I, um, then I just never finished it. I go to... Yeah, I, I fully understand that the books are great. Oh, my paint went away. Oh, well. What? Hmm? The, uh, uh the piano's going. <laughs> the, the agony in your voice when you said that. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> the piano's gone. It's just... Oh my God. <laughs> you sound, uh, you, you sounded like Asmund Gold when you said that. 
Yeah, he needs to make a video about Star Citizen. That'd be great. <laughs> yeah, he uh, he probably won't. Or maybe he already has. I don't know. He did a video on the uh, what's wrong with MMOs. And uh, on the thumbnail, I had like even also. Wouldn't be a stretch. Yeah, maybe. And uh, is all the scam stuff even. Yeah, I don't know. You've gotten. I. I, I've kind of noticed that you seem to, um, you seem to like getting just like really attached to like, to like one singular content creator and you just like binge watch them <laughs> and then just move on a ton and then just move on. Yeah. Cause you did it with, um, you watched like all of Connor, uh, of Connor's like crane game videos, and then you just like binged everything from Chris, and now you're on, now you're on Asmund Gold. Well, yeah, because I watch a lot of content in the background, so <laughs> like I retain some of it. Yeah. Uh, but like Connor's videos, I've only watched like mostly the the crane games and the wacky weekends because the rest of it he just pisses me off. <laughs> um. <laughs> but like, what do you mean? I told you his attitude is just terrible. Like I just his personality <laughs> just drives me nuts. <laughs> um, but uh, okay, I yeah, I, I can I can kind of get. Well, he's kind of like the um, I, th I think he kind of plays up like the stereotypical like um posh arrogant like British guy, right? Yeah, I mean I'm sure he does, but I just, just want to slap him like. <laughs> He's just, I don't really know what to say. Uh, Abroad in Japan, I've watched almost all of his videos. Um, not all of them, obviously, yeah. but I've watched a good bit of them. And uh, I mean, I still like his videos. I enjoy them. But no, I do kind of just jump around. Yeah. It's like games. Like, there's not a single <laughs> game besides probably Star Citizen that keeps my uh, interest. So. Yeah, yeah, I, f I feel that. Like, I, it's, uh, yeah, it's it's kind of hard um, sometimes to just, like, I don't know. I, I feel like, I feel like sometimes I, like, jump around games a lot because, like, um, you ever feel like, like, you just play a game so much that that you just kind of, like, you know that like if you keep playing it at the rate that you have been that you're probably gonna burn out eventually uh, yeah so you so you kind of like have to like moderate yourself in a way to keep from to keep from uh burning out and like ruining your fun in the game because i've done that for i've done that for a few games before and and it, mm -hmm. it always makes me that like I did that with um I used to play a, I used to play a crap ton of Monster Hunter and uh, I haven't played Monster Hunter in probably like a year and a half now because I just played so much that I just burnt myself out yeah you play crazy games what do you mean uh, crazy games yeah I mean they're absolutely just crazy games like some of the ones that you've uh that you've recommended uh, I've played and I was just like oh like what I don't know I don't remember the names like I don't play them long enough I uh, I remember someone recommended me uh, the idol manager stuff like so I play that and I was yeah, like that oh. wasn't that wasn't me I think that was extreme that uh, recommended me that game was it yeah, was it? I don't know probably okay, actually, I'll blame him actually yeah no that that kind of tracks actually hang on oh, two thousand three. Go. I don't know what ship to bring. 132 kilometers. Okay, I, I'm I'm still I'm still a ways out. Okay. Oh, 
I remember the thir the 32 part, and I was like, oh, I went too far, but no, I need to go on yeah. 32. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what games I would have recommended for you to play because I don't. I don't know. I don't recommend. My... I don't recommend people play games that much, actually. I don't know because like... if you look at my Steam play, yeah, uh, the things that I play, some of them you don't get really burned yeah. out of. Like I'm the only person I know that probably has a thousand, uh, well, fifteen hundred hours on um... Stormworks. No, well, probably. Uh, no, what is, I don't even, I play the game and I don't even know the name of it. Oh, uh, Civilization Five. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, some, some people really, uh, love the, some people go crazy for, like, the Civ games. I'm just not huge on, like, the, it. on, like, the real-time strategy games, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know. I like, they just don't. I just like the just games that make you that think and strategize. Like, I love that. Yeah, uh, for me, for me, the for me, the type of game that's kind of like that that I enjoy is like um, like turn based RPGs. I like those. Those are fun. Yeah, um, especially ones that have very like complex battle systems um, like uh, like Shin Megami Tensei series. That's a that's a fun series. Super weird. But uh, I, don't, I don't even know, really like, fun. I don't even know what you just said, but okay. Shin Megami Tensei. Yeah. It's a game series. It's great. So on oh, a side oh. note, the, like, the terminals and everything are just really slow. And it's really making me, like, regret buying all these ships because it is such a hassle to do anything. Yeah. Like you I, open up inventory and it just feels like the entire server just comes to crawl. Yeah. Ooh. I wonder if uh, I wonder if these other ships are where the uh, thing is. There's two corsairs just chilling down here. Yeah. Probably. Ping oh it. gosh, what the. Okay, there's a lot more ships. There's there's like a million ships down here. What is this? What is going yeah, well, on down here? What is what is this? Unfortunately, <laughs> the ships don't disappear, so I could only imagine what your frame rate's going to be whenever you get down there. It's a graveyard. Oh my gosh. So is this is this oh this is the this is the MSR rag site. Oh my gosh, there is actually just like look how many ships there are. Mm -hmm. What is this? Yeah, welcome to Pez. What is this? It's just, just a pile of trash. It's There's a million just... ships here. <laughs> what? <laughs> So do, do I, I can only imagine that people came here with their ship and then just like logged off nah, and just crashed. Left, left the ship here or crashed or both. You should clip that and send that to Spectrum and be like, what is going on? This is, this is silly. This is silly. Yeah. There has to be some kind of decay because there really is no reason why uh, things just have to like persist forever. Like those ships just got to disappear yeah. at some point. Look. This is... Hornets. Freaking. Pieces of. Freaking. Um, cutlasses everywhere. There's a million vanguards, a bunch of redeemers, Corsairs. I mean, the good news is there's a uh, vulture there, so you can show people how yeah. to yeah. salvage. Look I at love the, that uh, look harbinger at, paint. Look at this. It's just piles of trash. <laughs> uh, look at all of this. What is going on? This is, this is ridiculous. What is this? Uh, it's like a half-destroyed...
What's that? What is this? A 350R? Is that a 315 mm. or a 3? No, it's a 350R, isn't it? Go to the back. Go to the back? Yeah, go to the back. You can tell by the engines. Can you? Nah, it's a 315. That's not a 350. Oh, is it? Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't know. I can't tell them apart by the engines, I'm gonna be honest. Oh. Uh-oh. Huge lag spike. Okay, probably because of all the ships here. This is ridiculous. What is this? What is <laughs> this? What is going on? It's wild. What? What? There's... Landing gear in the air. What is all of this? What is... What? <laughs> what the heck? I'm dropping so many frames just being here. This is... This is insane. What is your frame rate right now? Do the R underscore display info 3. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's go... Um, R underscore display info three. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh, 30 FPS. <laughs> it go, no, look, if I look this way, it goes down to like 25 FPS. If I look away from it all, <laughs> it goes up wow. to like almost 50 FPS. That's insane. What is this? That is such a mess. This is not okay. <laughs> this is this is this is actual insanity. Look the, every look at it's, and they're all just like bouncing around. Yeah. I don't know, whenever I went there last time, uh, I didn't have all of that, but I, I don't know. This <laughs> that is insane. Okay, this is pretty cool looking though. Wow. Yeah. That looks awesome. Look at that. That's is that the is it the the bridge part of the six hundred I? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Down there? That's Yeah, cool. there's all kinds of loot crates on it too. That's pretty good. How the Crap. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Dude, this is dangerous in low gravity. Holy crap. I almost just fell. Um, are there enemies that spawn here? Uh, I think you have to set up the mission or they're not going to spawn in. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hopefully nobody accepts the mission while I'm here. <laughs> uh, okay, let's climb down this ladder. This is extremely precarious. Oh my god! The view at the bottom is crazy, though. Whenever you get into the bedroom. Oh, you're gonna. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That is wild looking. Okay, let's um I'm just gonna say I I would not trust being in here in real life. Oh the oh the the doors work? That doors why are there human skulls on the table? Who's collecting human skulls? What is, what is this? What is it? Is this like a cryopod? What is that? What is yeah, this? Yeah, it's like a cryopod. Why? Why is that here? Oh my gosh. Okay. And that, you hear the noises? Yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> this is a whole bunch of nope nope. Yeah. Uh, loot crate. Let's see if there's anything in it. Wow. Toy pistols. <laughs> Yeah. Sure. I'll take toy pistols. Why not? That's hilarious. Okay. Um. Oh, I don't like the noises. 
Um, this door doesn't open to go in the rest of the ship, does it? Uh, no. Okay. I think, oh gosh, you can take the go. elevator. There should be a ladder. Ah, go to the right. What? Go where the, ele uh, where the elevator is. There should be a ladder. Yeah, there you the, go. Yeah, the, the, the ladder that I... The ladder that I was just going down, and you told me not to. No, so you could take it. Okay. Oh, that is... Uh, uh, that is so much nope. That cave's... The cave's really cool, though. Yeah. Uh, no. I'm really not good with heights. I... I, <laughs> I seriously... <laughs> seriously don't like heights which is weird because uh which is weird because i like like rock climbing and rappelling but um but with those for for some reason heights with that doesn't really doesn't really mess with me that much i don't know i guess i just like trust the rope Okay, so you can't get into any other part of this front part except for the bedroom, right? Uh, yeah, you can't do anything else in the, um, in the bridge area. Why do I, why do I smell toast? Stroke. Yeah, am I, am I about to have a stroke? That'd be some great content. That would, I, I, yeah, I'm sure that it would. Oh my gosh. <coughs> yeah, that would be um that'd be fun. Oh my gosh, this is uh, Yeah, I, I really don't I really don't like that. That that's horrible. I'm leaving. Huh. Um the M the uh MSR is also like near here, right? Uh yeah, I believe so. I have to. I, I got, have to say the yeah, the detail on this rack is is completely insane, though. It's so yeah. cool, so cool. Okay. Um. All right. Where's 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 the MSR at? I I couldn't. Where even, I'm at. I couldn't even see it for the. Oh, hey, look, a corpse. It's probably. Oh, look, another corpse. It, are these players Loot or NPCs? Em. I have no idea. Nah, it's just players. Hey, buddy. Right. Help me. Oh. Uh. I don't have a tool. I hope you have a med tool. I would like to live. Uh, let's see. And they have a lot of good stuff. Uh, whoa! Holy moly! Um. Well, that's not good. Oh, what did you do? Uh, there, there's a guy here who's alive. Uh, oh, is he? Where? Might be this is a cursed spot. Yeah, I think that might be a cursed spot, man. I tried to grab a med pen off of you to heal you, but uh, it, then it killed me. I'm not sure if I'm actually broadcasting in game. Hang on, let me see. Uh, I don't know. I don't <clears> hear you. Microphone. Um. There we go. Is my mic working now? Hello, can you oh. hear me? It's whoever's in the Valkyrie. Is it? I thought it was this <clears throat> dude on the floor here. Uh, so come get me. Do you have a med pen? Uh, no. But obviously, the guy on Sada he does. Yeah. Just be very careful, because apparently the ground here is kind of cursed. Well, let me make sure there's nobody in this turret that just took you up. Because, like I said, the Valkyrie's blue, which means someone's here. Mm. It, or it might be the um, <clears throat> might be the Corsair that is uh, bouncing. No, up it's and down. it's the Valkyrie. I didn't hear any gunshots or anything. Also, if I, uh, where are you? All right, there's core. Display info. Don't tell me I'm like underneath the ground. Well, 
Well, I don't see your name. I, oh. I, I can I can see you. <clears throat> or I I saw you. You're in a Saber Raven. Yeah. Come get me. <laughs> oh, this is uh this is great. <laughs> this is this this area is just cursed, man. This <laughs> this is this is the this is the just most okay. Now there's a now there's a buccaneer flying, just like tumbling. Nah, the buccaneer's been like that. Has uh, it? Yeah. Okay. Just just be careful. <laughs> Help is on its way. Maybe. I don't know if this dude is still here or not. I'm not sure. Uh well this is uh this is great. <laughs> yeah, he always manages to do something. You know, this time I don't think it was my fault, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> huh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this place is just cursed. Why are, why are you like ups why are you like upside down? Just land the ship. <laughs> Oh, hi, Morgor. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, yeah, this is kind of about right for this. <laughs> just, just what I'm seeing from here is just like, it's like three ships bouncing up and down in the floor and then just a buccaneer tumbling through the air. <laughs> this oh. is so... Broken. And I just got incapacitated. It's whatever's going on with the Corsair. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I thought. Um, yeah, pretty sure that. Uh, yeah, pretty sure the Corsair is just murder Corsair. Can you hear me in game? By the way, Saban. Uh, yeah. There's a little bit of an okay. echo. Yeah. All right. Well. Um, Oh, the thing is, oh, if we, I literally have, I brought a medical ship too. Yeah, you I did. I literally have a med bed. We just can't get to it because we're both in cap. Yep. We probably could have done a uh, service beacon, oh. but I mean, we could have just killed the entire server. Yeah, <laughs> just, just, just lure the entire server here. Yeah with medical beacons and then they just die one after the other <laughs> oh, don't feel too bad uh i think it was 317 <laughs> me and ryu was stuck after doing a bunker mission <clears throat> and we found out that every time i put a service beacon uh on whenever someone accepted it they 30 k so we just kept putting 15 million dollar <laughs> um service beacons out and like we just 30 k like half the server that's so funny yeah Yeah, I think we figured out why there are so many ships here. Yeah, Actually. for sure. <laughs> this is just, just, just you just come here and you just immediately die. Oh, that's so funny. And also really annoying. <laughs> I didn't even get a chance to look at the MSR. I was yeah. gen I was genuinely genuinely trying to help that guy too. I like ran Bermuda past triangle. him and uh -huh. he was like, "Hey, buddy, help me." I was like, oh, there's a guy here. Like, I could see that he was, like, in cap. And I tried to grab a med pen off of him to heal him, and then I just got in cap myself. Oh, that's so sad. No good deed goes unpunished, as they say, I suppose. Not a star citizen. <laughs> Someone accepted my rescue bacon. <laughs> <coughs> oh, you're going to sit there and wait? Yeah, good luck with that. <coughs> <laughs> He's ninety two thousand kilometers away. I I I genuinely wanna see if I can just lure people here to die. Yeah, nah, I backspaced. Yeah, 
that's probably a good idea. Yeah, he he doesn't he doesn't seem to be getting much closer in a hurry either. Go grab your reclaimer and come back to salvage all the ships. Hey, you know what? It's not a bad i not a bad idea now that we know where all the ships are on the entire server. <laughs> <laughs> there's seriously like like 60 ships there or at least bits of like 60 ships did there's a lot the there amount, did you see the amount of pings just flying in yeah well now there's like another ultra rare saber raven if someone <laughs> wants it <laughs> oh. oh my gosh that is uh, I I honestly Honestly, I'm I'm not even mad. That was so funny. Th th this whole area is just hilarious. Um, but yeah, I, I am gonna. I mean, honestly, I don't backspace. expect anything less from 318 because I'm just gonna backspace. Yeah, it is. Yeah, look at look at that. Look at that. <laughs> look all around. Terrible. Just bits of ships bouncing. Uh, that yeah, that whole area is just cursed. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I've come, never... I'll come back here later when, um, hopefully, uh, maybe the it's, game's uh, fixed. Yeah, maybe it's <laughs> fixed. So in about twenty years. <laughs> oh, uh, rubber banding back into the med bed. Uh, that's good. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, I really. Yeah. People don't understand how bad it is right now. Yeah, it's um. Yeah, I. You know, I. What the? What is going on in this elevator? Uh, I. You, uh, you I, didn't I even thought, see. I thought you were exaggerating when you said it might be till March, but um. No. You. You might actually be right. It might uh, hit open wave in February, that. but by the time like, you add in all those extra players, yeah, like the servers are is... still only U.S. servers. Yeah. Oh, is it still only U.S.? They haven't even opened it back up to uh, like, the EU and Australia and Asia. I think it may be still U.S. only. Really? Okay. I mean, it's just it's it's in really bad shape. I could see it going open wave end of January, but I mean, like I said, as soon as you hit. Yeah, you know, hundred thousand people playing the same game. You're gonna open up even more bugs, and it's just gonna yeah, need to get for sure. constantly polished. Yeah, cause yeah, cause we're not we're not even dealing with like full server load at this point either, because it's now, just wave one. You don't even see streamers um, playing three eighteen anymore. <laughs> That's when you know it's bad. Yeah. Oh, I forgot that this place makes like crazy noises. Oh yeah, the whale oh, I love I love Orizon though. It's so pretty. It's so gorgeous. That's a that's hate, a reason to come here. I hate going there. It, well, it's a lot easier to get in out of, in and out of now cuz the quantum ceiling is so much lower. It's a lot better. Yeah, I mean, it's just still so hard to get around. It's not that bad. I, I don't know. Uh, I, I I do think that I, I I will maintain that I think that the the worst landing zone right now is area eighteen. Yeah, I don't know. Because it's it's it, at this point it's just so outdated. Right. Yeah, they they really need to update Area 18. Was Area 18 the first planetary landing zone? No, or that was, was Lorville. Lorville. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but they updated Lorville in this patch as well. They definitely changed it. Yeah. We were looking at it that was a while ago. Lorville and uh, Delamar. Yeah. I have no idea why I bought so many yeah, Reliance. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I just noticed, like, I own every Reliant. Like, I just don't understand why, because I never fly them. Because <laughs> they're neat. They yes. should put a hospital on Lorville. There is one. 
Yeah, there, there is. There is one. It's massive. It's called the Maria Pure of Heart. It's gigantic. It's, actually, it's probably it's really the best nice. hospital. Yeah, it, you know, I'll, I'll agree with that. It's a really nice hospital. It, yeah, it's it's really nice. It has very, it has very. Um, I love all the posters on the walls that are like, the like death is not a, an escape from your debt. <laughs> Yeah. Stuff like that. That's uh, my slogan as well. Oh, Alizar. Oh, that's right. There's not a hospital at Port Alizar, is there? Uh, no. That's so. No, it, it's it's the only station without a without a hospital. Even Grimhex has a hospital, kind of. Yeah, but I mean, it's an old asset. Where are you gonna put yeah, it at? That's true. I mean, they are supposedly planning on getting rid of Port Alizar soon, anyways. Right. I mean, they better not. Mm. Just keep it in as a derelict. <laughs> yeah, just move it somewhere. I think it would be cool if they had... Oh, excuse me. Some kind of event where, like... I don't know, like... Like, Ninetales shows up and, like, steals Bordalisar. Or something. Just, like... Just, like, uh, weld... Yeah. Weld a bunch of big thrusters onto it. And just <laughs> send it off in the middle of nowhere. And then... And then... And then you just like find it derelict somewhere in like pyro. There was that old video where uh, they showed it was from uh, like an NPC's point of view of Port Alistar where there was like this fleet attacking uh, with like all kinds of alarms and um, terminals going off. And it was it's thought to have been um, Vandal, but I don't know. Mm. It was from a yeah, long time ago. Go back to Microtech. All right. Uh oh. Yeah, uh, they kind of started to move to Orison now. Still your favorite starting place? What is Art Corp or Port Alisar, Rick? I mean, technically, I still I still consider Art Corp my home in the verse because that was like the first landing zone I ever experienced. So that's kind of was the start of my journey in Star Citizen. But it's it's just not nearly as convenient as any of the other landing zones. There's not much there, and um, and it's all old assets, and also annoyingly. The um, autopilot is still super strict around Arcarp. You can't like fly through the buildings, which is what I was talking about earlier. They had like the demo of Art Corp in 2017, like 20, on 2017, and it looked way better than it does now. Yeah. Well, we've always said that. Uh, like, I don't know. Uh, some of the stuff they showed out like back in the day still looks better than what we have now. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure what's what the deal is with that. We it's like we said to, it's like we said to Chris, Chris, please give us Area 18, and Chris said, but you have Area 18 at home. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. It's. I think some of that was through some of the reprogramming they had to do at one point. Um, yeah, yeah. And obviously the shaders and stuff. As far as what you see in those videos, uh, obviously it's way more detailed. But yeah. the quality of what we have now is way better. So... Mm, yeah, maybe. But it doesn't look as cool. And that's I mean, but they're really coming back happens. through and they're doing it. If you look at the stations, they're adding way more... Um, uh, neon and signing yeah. through the yeah, stations. Yeah, they have been are... kind of like sneaking in like all the neon signage and stuff in the stations, which is neat. Yeah, I, I mean, at some that. point, someone's going to be on Lorville and a sandworm's going to eat them. <laughs> and then that's going to completely, uh, Ooh, come you on, know. The sandworm. No, the sandworm is never going to exist. Let's be realistic here. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I'm still waiting on the whale that was supposed to have uh, came in 316. Oh yeah, the um, the the space whale, the um, yeah, 
Or, no, what, what are they called? The storm wall. Yeah, the storm wall. Yeah. Which, um... <laughs> it's still in polishing pass with the Halsey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. They just, like, they never even said anything about it. They were just like, yeah. No, we're not going to mention it anymore. We're going to hope everybody forgets. The colors in the sky at night at Orison are just just gorgeous. I've never seen anything like it in, a, in any other game. Because you never will. Because no other games have this just gorgeous cloud city. Let me turn up my volumetric clouds so they look a bit nicer. Eh, still a little bit grainy, but um, but but it looks nice. Oh. Why? Why does it only give you the option to sit on the bench facing away from, like, the sky? Oh, that's annoying. Oh, well. Anyways, uh, is there an ETA on the faster traveling speeds? Um, it's just going to get worse. What? You mean, like, the master modes thing? Yeah. I, I'm not sure if that's going to make things Oh, faster. wait, 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 wait. Look at your <laughs> corpse. You see how it's going away from you? Yeah. That's the planet uh, rotation. Yeah. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh... I mean, Star Citizen things. As much as, much as this... As much as this game pisses me off sometimes, um, I, I, I adore this game. It's so good. <laughs> so yeah, but traveling detailed. times are going to get bad. Um... Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I don't think that the, um, wait, where's the, no. I mean, I think How someone I get, just recently figured out that, my death beacons? I, I not, you can't, that. yeah, you can, you, you die again, uh, anyways, um, Yeah, there's just no game out there like Star Citizen. I, Dude, everyone, you say that as the NPCs getting, are just... Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, that is also part of the experience of Star Citizen. There's just no <laughs> game like Star Citizen, I say, looking at the gorgeous sky in the Cloud City with the NPCs that just don't function. <laughs> <laughs> this, is a, this this shot right here just perfectly encapul encapsulates everything about Star Citizen. <laughs> they went from deposing to moonwalking. So yeah, uh, yeah, the desync is pretty bad in this patch. Not not gonna lie, yeah, it's pretty bad. Um, but yeah, uh, I, yeah, I I think I think I'm probably gonna call this stream here. So um, I'm going to go yeah, right. take some medicine and go to bed. So uh, thank you guys so much for coming to the stream. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you haven't done so already, please make sure to leave a like on the stream. Subscribe to my channel and check out the community discord to hang out with more awesome peeps who love Star Citizen and other similar games like that. Um, I really appreciate everyone coming, and if you'd like to help support me and the channel, consider joining the channel membership for early access to videos, as well as other perks such as uh, such as badges and extra emotes in live stream chats. Anyways, I really appreciate you all for coming down. I hope you all have a fantastic evening, and I'll see you all in the verse. Take care. Bye-bye.